this evening we are assembled here to pay our love to Lydia Wilson who went to be with the Lord early Monday morning on January 2nd, 2017. Please continue to pray for Lydia's parents, brother Wilson Papachan and sister Bina Wilson. Her one and only sister Hannah and for all of her family members. It is very painful when our dear ones who loved God and us and to whom we loved pass from us through death. It is painful, heartbreaking and sorrowful but the Lord of comfort who gave us glorious hope, is with us and among us as we sit in his presence. I know people are very anxious to view her body. Immediately they enter the building, but we will allow all of you to view her body while we are singing songs. It is not appropriate to view the body when someone is speaking from this podium. Shall we pray? Pastor Philip Grant will lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Our gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we bow in your presence with reverential fear. We recognize you as Lord of our lives. We recognize you as our source. We recognize you as our total supply. We grieve today because of the loss of our sister. But we recognize that we are just gilded loam or painted clay, and you are the potter. Yes. You mold us, you break us, you refashion us, because you are sovereign Lord. I pray even now that you will strengthen the family especially and the church family, the extended family. And I pray that you will strengthen our faith, that we'll understand that you are Lord, you give life and you take it away. We pray that you will give us strength in the hour of need and to understand that you care for us in every area of our lives. I pray that you will bring a word of cheer, a word of comfort to the hearts of the bereaved and that we will understand that you are in control of every situation. We may not understand why Lydia has left us, but we rejoice that she is in the arm of sweet deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that as we celebrate the life of Lydia, that we will re receive renewed strength. We may not understand why this happened at this time of the year. But God, we realize and we have commended her spirit into your care. We are grateful for the short 
period that you have given her to us. Help us to understand, strengthen our faith, bless the family from near and far. Bless this church that has been a blessing to her. And I pray that as believers that we will stay in a state of preparedness, that we will see our sister one day. Bless us together. Bless the service. We thank you for hearing our petitions. In your name I pray. Amen. I'll be reading from the book of Psalms 90. <clears throat> Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, return to dust, you mortals. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. Yet you sweep people away in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning. In the morning, it springs up new, but by evening, it is dry and withered. We are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before you, <coughs> our <coughs> secret sins in the light of your presence. All our days pass away under your wrath. We finish our years with a moan. Our days may come to 70 years or 80s if our strength endures Yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we flew away. If only we knew the power of your anger, your wrath is as great as the fear that is your due. Touch us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Relent, Lord, how long will it be? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for the joy and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, for as many years as we have seen trouble. May your deeds be shown to your servants, your splendid splendor to their children. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us, <coughs> establish the work of our hands for us, yes, establish the work of our hands. May the Lord bless us with the reading of the scripture. <laughs> Jeevanadhan Yeshuvay Stur
दीचे मन में जीवनादन ये स्वजीवन
Stephen John from Philadelphia Wilson family friend is here he will be taking few minutes please I just don't even have words we always speak churches different places but this is a place when it comes and hits yourself in your own family and to yourself all those words that you give comfort to others becomes stagnant. I'm from Philadelphia, as pastors has said. Wilson, Bina, and their daughters have been precious to me and my family. Um, he, his whole family, actually, from back in Bombay, Joyce, Sister Walsa, Stanley, and uh, all the family members, very loving, godly, loves the Lord, serves the Lord, dedicated to do the things for the work of God, encouraging pastors. Always, I've been blessed to be in the fellowship of Wilson and family, and all his family. It's such a tragedy 
That's what we world says when it hits one's family. But to say the daughter, she's just like my daughter. She had, they had come a couple of years ago. They had come and spent a night or two with, uh, with us. We enjoyed and uh, they both went down on the basement and said, we're going to sleep in the basement. I said, why, why? Just come up and sleep on the, you know, on the bed. She said, no, no, no. So uh, she uh, she's, uh, spent a little time with me talking and I s talked to her, um, different things. It was such a joy that she was full of joy of the Lord, wants to do things for the Lord, wants to accomplish different things in life. You know, we never know what life has stored for each one of us. God has brought each and every one here on this earth. But what is the purpose? Why are we here on this earth? What is our purpose? Young girl who has completed her 25, 26 years of age, the Lord has called us her to the glory. In the words of Job, it says the Lord has given and the Lord has taken. Can we accept, can Wilson and Bina accept that word easily? Say the Lord has given and the Lord has taken. It's very hard. No matter how spiritual you are, how much you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you speak in tongues, these words are very difficult to take for oneself. But yet, we hope in the Lord. And that hope that is given in Jesus Christ, that is the thing that we take. Yes, Lord, you gave it to me, and you have taken it. And this was the day recorded in, the, in his books that she will be taken away from Wilson's and Bina's hands. They were planning probably so many things. She completed her studies, just got the job and started. I lost my young sister-in-law when she was just completed her master's degree and she started working, married to a very young man, a handsome young man with, a, with all the degrees and everything and started thinking, saying, I'm going to live a life. I'm going to buy this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And all of a sudden, not even one year of the marriage, she was declared that she has a cancer, colon cancer, at 27 age. And she hasn't lived much enough that she had to give up. Lord has called her to the glory. It was very heartbreaking. This young girl who planned probably so many things in her life, she wasn't able to complete. It says in Ecclesiastes 7.1, if you say, a good name is better than fine perfume, and the day of death is better than the day of birth. Great word of Solomon. I can preach from the word of God, saying things, so many different things of all those. But I just want to tell you one thing. The Bible declares everything that belongs to life and godliness. And Solomon declares it's better. Why? Many of us sitting here today don't even know what is the purpose of life and where are we going. And therefore, the Solomon is saying here the words, it is better to go to a house of mourning than to go and party yourself. Why? Why? Because it 
teaches you where I am standing, where I am going, what is the purpose the Lord has brought me into this life. Many of us sitting here are Christians, believers, for five years, 10 years, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50. But yet, do we understand the words that is written in the book of life? It is better. You who have come, I'm sure you haven't come here to just mourn the death of a young daughter of Wilson. But you came to give him peace in the name of the Lord saying, we will see her in glory. We will see her in glory. She has done what she probably planned, wanted to do, wanted to do many other things also, but she wasn't able to do it. That's all that God wants all of us who are sitting here today, this evening. I just want to say, if the Lord has given you the opportunity to live some time on this earth, remember, this word of God is the truth. It has life. And Jesus Christ is the reality. I have found Jesus in my life, and I'm so excited about it. Every day, I think, I grab my children, and I say, Thank you, Lord, that you have given these two kids in my life. And what do we do? Just send them away? God has given to you and me a responsibility to nurture them, to bring in the godly ways. That's what the prayer of Moses says. God, one thing he asks, be generation to generation, be our God. That should be your and my desire for the family and for the children, that God, you be our God. Let the altar be in my house. Every day, send your children with prayer. Where they're going, how they're going, you don't need know, and I don't know. But we pray, God, God's Holy Spirit protects them. But here, I can go on preaching, but it is not a time for preaching. May the Lord's comfort and peace be upon. And I say that word, as Paul says, that one day at twinkling of an eye, she will rise up. She was a righteous girl. She stayed. She was filled with the Spirit. She was purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. She was washed. She wa Jesus had paid the price for her. She is precious in his sight. And he will he has opened his arms and has accepted. I want to read one more verse before I go down and sit. In Daniel 12, 2, say, Many who sleep in the dust of the ground will awake there to everlasting life, but to others to disgrace and everlasting contempt. I want to leave you with that word. Many of you sitting here, when you wake up, either you are, no matter you have lived a worldly life or a godly, you will wake up to give the job. God will ask you. He will ask you. Are you going to wake up for an everlasting life or for disgrace and contempt? May the Lord be with you. This word, let you take it home. Take the word of God, open the word of God and say, God, I don't want to wake up in contempt and disgrace, but I want to submit myself. I want to live a life pleasing to you. I want to meet you in the glory. When you come in glory, I will be there. 
I will be there. When the roll is called up yonder, I will be there. Let's close our eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we have come before the throne of grace, oh God. God, you have given this beautiful daughter to Wilson and Bina and their family, Lord. This was your gift, gift of the womb that you have given, flourished until the age 26, O oh God. We give it in your hand, O oh Lord, Father. Pray that your peace be upon the family, the little girl, sister, who's grieving God. I pray that the peace be upon her protect this family and the extended family sisters brothers and all that are there lord father i pray that your peace be upon all the people that have come lord i know that you have spoken to them let the spirit pray that the peace be upon everyone in jesus name i pray i thank pastor and the family for giving me this opportunity may god bless you Pastor MJ John, Johnson from Gilgal Church and also Pastor Willie Abraham, he is speaking. They will uh, take a few minutes. Paranathe, Impadalathe, Indecha, Yeshu in the Namam, in the Tatri Luda Vajta Pudumaragate, Priya Lydia Wilson, the Verbade, Karina Tiglaricha, Prabhada Tile, Valare, Dukathore, and in the case of Rabiki and I. Kadinya, Yengilim, Sandoshat and Bahir Lidigarium, E. Priya Magale, Avulka, they even got a short time ele, Valar Saktio, a Kartav in the Namathine, Magatu Vendi, Ninu, the Iverajatin Vendi, Valaria Tuanichu, other the Sandoshat and Bahir Lidigarimana, Hallelujah, Amen, Brother Papachin, Susbina, Priya Magal, Priya Patoria, Susipiki and Manishimai, Tamakarkum. Sati Malengilim, David and a Vajanatine, David and a Ningle Asha Sipika and I to Gadium, Belaki and the Tunya Verina, Deva Gurva, Ningle Mela in the Arthur and Karta Pirate and the Nyan Prartik in the Karta than never another. Do not your heart be troubled. Believe in me, Ningle de Hurday and Kalingi Power, the Devatil, Vicious Epin, Yenilim, Vicious Epin. Marishium, I arkum, Ningle Ashes, pick an eye to Satimala, and then he carry up. Hallelujah. City Rulay Trade, David and David Asin, my remitter, Ningle Quenti Pratikin, Ningle Kella, Tarati Rulatmi, my supportum, Nalguna, the Rinala Gaidimana. Hallelujah. Sadu, which you knew they see it a moon of Makale, William Priya, Potre, Agalatil, Berber to Poida, Sadu, which you knew they see reward the Kupichu. Chalavarshang and Ladukan than Neveta Yadi, where there was some Davile, David and the Vadanam, and the Hurde told her better than the Hurde Tenth and Day. Now will they repart to go to Tadan and Namal Satharna, Dukatin Vela ill part of the water, Dukatin the Panavatra and Kartav and the Kail Tanal, Sandosha Thor, the Wangin and Halilia Padam, Doshamita, and the even not on them, Chayetilla, either Paray and Lupaman and Nikaria, you attend a Parican Yathar Tingle, Hallelujah, the even than the Ningle, Ashes of Pican Ita. Yana in the Rathri Pratikino Gilgal Pentecostal Assembly, Lela, Deva, Das and Barry, Deva Janathan de Dukam, E. Samayam, Yaning Alarikin, our citizenship is in heaven. From there, we await a Savior who is our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly bodies into His glorious body. And that's our confidence, that's our trust, and that's our assurance. Karthav Ningal, every Ashes, if Hallelujah, I would have given us a name. They were Janathan, Kartavash is a picket in the war pitch under Kartavinde. Now, I'm a tender mouth to the number of Jeeves and Lai, Urikal Kude, Summer Picky and Kartav, the middle of the race of Haiki. My name is Pastor Willie Abraham. I know this uh, family, my family, my family, know this family and Lydia for the last 16 years as we were together in this church for a long time. And it has been a great experience to have fellowship with this wonderful family in those years. And my children, three of them, got the opportunity and privilege to grow up with um, 
Lydia, especially my daughter will see she was with her in her class, Sunday school classes and all. <clears throat> Great experiences. And we know much about her life and this wonderful, this family very closely. Of course, it was a very big shock the other day when it happened, when she was in the hospital, and later when things changed. It was unbearable. We all do comfort others. We preach, we encourage, we console. But as just a pastor said, it is very hard. It is very heart touching when it happens to our own people. We do not know why certain things happen in our life and we have no right to question God. But we know for sure one thing, being a child of God, children of God, nothing and nothing happens in our life without God's knowledge. We know about Lydia. She been such a blessed child. The word blessed is very appropriate to use for this dear Lydia because in all aspects of her life she has proved that status. The Bible says blessed are those, blessed are the blessed expression is from the sight of God. And she was a real blessing for this church. And the reason why she could become a blessing for this church and the Sunday school and all the activities because she had the opportunity to be raised in this wonderful congregation in that way. And also the, the parents, they have paid a price to bring up this child in the fear of God from the very beginning. They could nurture her in that way and she could contribute it back to the church. That is what we heard last Friday, even the last day that she was here. Until late night she was in the sanctuary with an intention to work for the Lord. Absolutely, it is great. It is a great privilege to know that she could contribute a lot and she been a, such a blessing to this congregation and the church. She been a, such a great blessing for her family. The other day when we were in the hospital, my wife was telling, Sister Bina was sharing a lot of things to her. First of all, we want to just thank God for the courage this family had, even that very desperate situation. And there also she was just admiring and recognizing God's goodness in their life, and especially all those blessings this child could bring to this family. And she, I also heard that she was so such a um, matured, responsible child. <clears throat> and she was really a great blessing for the church, uh, sorry, for the family too. And as we are just reading uh, this uh, handout, we know the kind of work she was doing. Absolutely, she was a blessing for the community too. The skills that she developed and the way that she could get equipped for the things that she wanted to do, she being such a great blessing for the community. And it was for the patient population. And definitely, I believe, she been such a great blessing for the community as well. It was a very short life, but well lived, no doubt about it. Absolutely. <clears throat> and we all know separation is very painful. And all human consolation has limitation. 
but the word of god is the only source that we can have peace of mind in all our situations so that would be my prayer that may god console your hearts the soaring hearts and give you strength and grace that is needed at this point of time <clears throat> and we sympathize with you and it, of course it is a big loss and the gap that you have cannot be filled there is no way to fill that that is for sure and we grieve together with you we have the promises from the word of god which give us the peace of mind and strength that is needed in our life and the everlasting hope that we have that is the most important thing we have everything as jesus said what profits a man if he earns the whole world and loses his own soul that's the biggest question psalm 32 says blessed is he or that person whose sins are forgiven so she is that what we are talking about and she is she has that hope and she is with the lord and she is resting in the arms of the lord jesus today bible says 100 psalm 116 verse 15 it says precious in the sight of god is the death of his saints and this is absolutely what the bible says it is a precious departure i don't want to preach but one thing that came to my mind when i was also grieving about this loss in this family as if it is in my own family also the bible clearly describes about the life of job we read that about the character of the job it says he was a righteous man he was blameless and he feared god and he hated evil and he was a blessed man he was very rich in worldly perspective if you see he was very rich he had a wonderful family and he had 10 children and he had lot of he is a false and the bible says his oxes and his donkeys were stolen all of a sudden and the servants who were taking care of them were also been killed and he had sheep a lightning came and they died and the servants also were killed and children too all of a sudden a wind struck and the ho- house collapsed and everybody died that is what the bible says so satan thought his faith has collapsed too but the bible very clearly says that did not happen in that way <clears throat> the response was the bible says immediately he tore his clothes and he shaved his head and he became to mourn grew and the most important thing that we learn in the scripture is that he fell he looked into the ground and he fell to the ground what does that what is that expression he began to worship the lord pay attention to what is what was going on in his life the situation even in the midst of that one thing that job considered considered was to humble himself in the presence of the lord and worship the master and he confessed in this way naked i came from my mother's womb and naked shall i return there the lord gave and the lord has taken away blessed be the name of the lord this is what job could say in his situation and that is what one this wonderful family also to say this evening <clears throat> and the reason that he could say that because his absolute trust that was there in the lord the consolation that he had he wanted was from the in was in the presence of the lord and when he began to worship the lord that was his strength 
He understood who our God is. He was very sure about the goodness of God. He was very sure about the greatness of God. He knew for sure that my God is in control. And that gave him confidence. And he says, one day I will see my God with my own eyes. He was with great hope. So this evening I want to conclude here my words saying that we all go through struggles and hardships and losses in our life. But being a child of God, the word of God is given to us and the hope, the everlasting hope that is given to us and that is what we need to cling on to. May the good Lord give you strength and grace. I'm not saying that you should not grieve, you should not cry. Absolutely, you should. I work with the patient population and I know each day I go to death situations and I know how people grieve. And it is very appropriate to grieve, being Christians also, but there is a difference how, we, how do we grieve. And I am seeing this from the very time she was taken into God's hand. You are grieving very appropriately. Thank God for that. I know it is not by your effort, but God, the Holy Spirit, was taking absolutely you in control, and you were able to demonstrate that as a perfect example. May God continue to give you strength and grace that is needed for you. And on behalf of Good Shepherd Fellowship, and on behalf of uh, uh, Fellowship of the Pentecostal Churches in Chicago, and on behalf of my family, we want to express our sympathy and uh, condolence to you. And we absolutely assure our sincere prayers for you. May God bless you. Didius <coughs> Mendel and manager at work is here. Her name is Tina Franco is blue. She will take a few minutes, please. Thank you all for um, allowing the task force to express our love and just admiration for Lydia. Um, the one word that I, that continues to come to mind as we reflect on her and her legacy and that word is love. Lydia is love personified. Christ's love personified. And I know when she met him, he said, daughter, well done. Well done. Lydia joined the task force in May of 2014. Um, she was, young lady walked into my office and she said, I wanna volunteer. And we started talking about her interests and many of those interests were aligned with the mission of the task force, which we take a really just by any means necessary approach to ensuring that women's lives are saved and that, you know, there's, um, that they can access quality breast health care. And during the years that Lydia was with our organization, she grew professionally, she grew personally, and our staff, our, our, all of our community partners, all of them grew as a result of our relationships with her. Um, she submitted several research projects. Um, she did a lot of work in actually furthering our understanding of how breast cancer and inequitable care is impacting women, not only in Chicago, but more importantly here in, here in Lake County. She, her work directly is furthering our understanding of that. Um, and directly impacting interventions that the organization is working on to address that, to really make sure that we're increasing access to services and that we're reducing those unnecessary things that are preventing women from being able to maintain their own health. Um, a lot of times I think, you know, it was a mentor, it was, certainly we had a mentor-mentee relationship, but I think as much as I have imparted on her, she definitely imparted wisdom on me and all of our staff on, beh on behalf of everyone with the organization. Our hearts are with you. Um, we have been thinking and, and, and trying to process, you know, how do we celebrate Lydia? Because 
she left a legacy with us, and she's a part of the legacy of this organization. And it is in her honor that we move forward and carry on all the plans that we've made over the past years to make sure that we're supporting women, that we're continuing to touch lives, and that everything that she's done, all of the, all of the progress that we've made in this organization as a result of her, that we continue to do that each and every day in her honor. And so on behalf of this organization, our hearts and our prayers are with you. Thank you so much for sh allowing us to share our time with you. We will allow you to view the body as facing your song. My Jesus, I love thee, I know thou art mine, for thee all the follies of sin I resign. My I 
Lydia's friends from the university, Opal, Lauren, and Chris, please come. All right. Um, 
Hello, everyone. Um, so me, uh, Lauren, and Chris uh, had, a, had the privilege to attend undergraduate uh, at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Um, for me, personally, uh, Lydia met me at a time when I did not know the Lord. I was Buddhist. And so um, to imagine meeting someone of great faith um, when I had recently accepted Christ, immediately um, she just fed into my faith in the Lord and just made sure that I understood um, the power in the name of Jesus. And um, there's so many things that I wish I could just talk about her as far as how much she's forgiven me when I was extremely temperamental or probably least deserved forgiveness and patience, um, but that was just the type of person Lydia was. Um, as much as I want to brag and say that Lydia was my best friend, I think she was a best friend to everyone. I don't know how she did it, but by God's grace, um, God definitely used her to be light to those who knew her and especially those, or a light to those who don't know Christ, but especially to, the, to those who don't. Um, one thing I really want to um, emphasize about Lydia was uh, how much she loved this church. And um, I had the privilege to be here at least for a couple of years to help serve VBS, which she directed and was a rock star at. And um, I don't know why, for some reason, she just really loved my testimony in which um, Christ wrote for me, and I didn't have a choice, but she just continued to encourage me to just preach that testimony um, so that others may come to know the Lord. Um, and so uh, she encouraged me to uh, at least try to summarize that testimony in a way in which children could understand, and so I think that showed uh, the childlike faith that she had. And I mean, honestly, for such a sinner as myself, um, she just exuded the gospel and just kept telling me to just share my story, keep sharing our, my story, um, because it gives God glory. And um, for someone who's extremely timid and who is fearful of sharing the word of the Lord, um, it just showed how much the Spirit really led her and how much she allowed it to lead her. And, um, yeah, I, I can, I just want to grieve with everyone and mourn with everyone, um, not only for her loss, but also for the life that she blessed each and every one of us here. And um, I know that, at least now and moving forward, um, she has definitely been a huge part in um, tr the transformation of my life and in Christ alone. So, um, Lydia, thank you so much. Thank you for dealing with me. <laughs> thank you for all the laughs and just your wisdom and just your strength in God. And um, I just can't wait to see you in heaven. I love you, Lydia. Um, hi, uh, my name's Lauren. And... Um, I knew uh, Lydia since junior year in college, and we were roommates our senior year. I was thinking a lot about what to say today, and I just think I'm going to really miss like all the moments that me and Lydia, me and Lydia should or could have shared in the future, and I think, and you know, she has such a kind of heart, and I think that's what really drew me to thank you, really drew me to Lydia, and I really wanted to really have maintain our my friendship with her. And she has this presence about her that would just bring so much warmth and joy. And I'm going to really miss that. And like Opal mentioned before, 
she just loves this church and this youth group and her family. She would talk about just Hannah and her mom and her dad. And, you know, she just, just always wanted to know how to love just all those things more and how she can, you know, love more through God. And I'm just going to miss someone that... You know, I'm just walking um, this walk of faith with, you know. And, you know, she, she was always there when I needed to talk about some issue or hard times. And we would just talk about, you know, like what God would do. And she would share her wisdom. And, you know, she a lot of her wisdom came from, you know, you, your you know, Lydia's mom. And... I'm just going to miss that and, you know, all just the laughs that she shared. I remember that we shared. I remember, like, you know, all the jokes that are um, just funny things that would happen. I feel like a lot of times it wouldn't be funny, but when Lydia laughs, <laughs> like, her laugh would just make it so much more funny and you would just want to laugh with her. And I'm just going to just miss her a lot, but... I know because she believed in Jesus and she believed in heaven, she is with Jesus right now and Jesus is sharing just all her all his secrets with her and she's probably hanging out with, you know, like Moses and Abraham and they're probably having a good time, so and she's meeting all her ancestors and so I believe one day I'll see Lydia again and we'll be able to laugh and talk and share about the times that we've missed and share an eternity together. So. I know pastors are waiting here. They will be taking three minutes each. Pastor Baiju Matthew, Pastor Joseph K. Joseph, Pastor Unnone Matthew, Pastor Thomas Yohanan. Let me repeat again, Pastor Baiju Matthew, Pastor Joseph K. Joseph, Pastor Unnone Matthew, and Pastor Thomas Yohanan. Praise the Lord. Lydia was a brave girl. Lydia sacrificed her whole life. Lydia was an inspiration. Lydia put God first. Lydia devoted her whole life to church. There's nothing in this world that could come close to replacing her. I didn't know her that personally, but all these things I picked up from her sister, she put in the Facebook. Her condolences on behalf of CCF leadership in the city and the entire team. Also her condolences on behalf of IPC Shalom Church Bangalore, where... Uh, uh, that's the home church, and uh, there are a lot of people who, who asked me to convey their uh, uh, condolences. Also, the IPC Karnataka State, a lot of people have asked me to give the condolences. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. There are various things that heart can be troubled, and there may be so many questions that we can ask God, but there is hope. When Lazarus died, Jesus wept. Jesus was with them, was empathizing. And this is what Martha, Martha told Jesus, if you would have been here, she would not have, he would not have died. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection and life. The one who believes in me will live even they die. Praise God. That's our hope. Two crowds Two journeys, two destinations. And I'm sure Lydia chose the right crowds. She was with the right, she's in the right journey. And she went to the right destination. Praise God. Her blessings and comfort to the family at this time. My comfort to the family and all the grieving members. Turn to the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Testify about the grace that Lord Jesus gives when we go through pain. God bless. We are all deeply saddened, 
by the unexpected home calling of our dear Lydia. Uh, on behalf of the International Pentecostal Assembly, all the members of the International uh, Assembly, my family and myself, I want to express my deepest, deepest condolence to the family. I know it is very hard for a father and mother to send her, their children before they are home going. I know how hard for our dear brother Wilson, sister Bina, and her only sibling Hannah is hard. Uh, but we cannot question why it happened so quickly. Our good Lord knows the best, and we cannot question. And I just want to read a verse. I know none of our words will not may give you all comfort. After several days, many of us may forget uh, this funeral service, but it will never go back from the heart of uh, uh, her sister her mom and dad and the loved ones. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and life. He that believes in me, though he died, yet shall he, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Peace I leave with you. Leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give it to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let them, let be afraid. My dear brother and sister, Hannah, this is the words I can say. Trust in the Lord. Let uh, our loving Father put his loving hand around you at this difficult hour. And I know it is a loss for you, it is loss for uh, IPC Hebron, I have seen this young woman very, very eagerly and also enthusiastically active in various activities of the church. And uh, I always see Wilson brother, I greet when he come for a monthly meeting once a month. They are participants. We are going to miss them. But very soon, very, very soon, we are all going to hear that trumpet sound that day that our dear sister will rise up. That's our hope. May the Lord comfort you. May the Lord strengthen you. May God's presence abide with you. Thank you and greetings to all of you. I don't know about you, but uh, for me it is very hard, even after many, many years of ministering among people, for to find, find the appropriate words to comfort anybody. Especially when we go through such a great loss in our lives. That being said, we are the children of God and we have the special promise from God that one day we will see them. As we all know, death is sure. As Moses was once praying at the death of his brother, he just said one thing very profound, if we just uh, take consider it. He said, Lord, teach us that we may number our days. I'm pretty sure it, he was not asking for an abacus so that he can play with it and, and count the days. But he was saying this very candidly, Lord, give us a mindset to understand the brevity of life and the surety of the eternity that one day we will also come there and see not only my brother but see you by face by face. That's very same Moses prayed to see the presence of the Lord one day. And I'm sure he was looking for that very day when he will be reaching home, when he will see the face of the Lord. As uh, everyone else said, it is very hard to give you enough words so that you can live with it. But uh, we are looking that the Lord will come back one day. 
and we will all be there with him and then we will see Lydia as well. I lost my dad when I was 10 and I recently lost my mom and I can tell you one thing, grieving is a lifelong process. Don't you think that after two weeks you will forget this? No, it will stay with you for the end of your life. That that space can never be fulfilled by anyone else for that matter. Let me read one simple scripture. There are many servants of the Lord. They are going to bring so many verses. But let me assure you one thing that Paul, as Paul once proclaimed when he wrote to Philippians in chapter 3, 20 and 21, for our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lovely body that it may be confirmed to his glorious body, according to the working by which he is able even to subdue all things to himself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's a wonderful promise, isn't it? That he will transform every human being's body who trusted him, lived in him, and waiting for him to, to be conformed to his glorious body. I don't know how to give you a lecture on it. If you have that wonderful hope, raise your hands to say hallelujah once again. Hallelujah. He's going to come. Let me offer my condolences and my family's as well as from the alien Pentecostal Church where I minister in the city. May the Lord continue to be with you and hold you and take you home one day so that you can see the face of your dear one who just parted from you. God bless everybody. Praise the Lord. This is the first time I have to do this. I Bear Badil Namakilabur Dukamunda Nel party and Ignabar in the Yordana Kere Kanunuyan Vaidata Desam Sophia Yordana Kere Anunuyan Vaidata Desam Sophia 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 Yen Vaidata Desam Sophia Sophia Ya Sophia, and why the Tade Sophia? If you are in the poor mother, what a day, do Kadil Anna Vishal Lydia Uday, where a friend died in the end of Mughal Lindsay. I will start the la. I will be a little do Kunya and Arikino, younger to Kudumbat in name, and the Sabu name. I got home my do Kumarikino. Death is the destiny of everyone. The living should take to this heart. Praise the Lord. Jeevi Chirikin, the Hradeetil Karadipul and the Sami Vana, Jeevi Chalit Nangil and Namalur was a Marikim. Sami Vityasangal Matram Yulu, Pray Vityasangal Matram Yulu, and Nal Namal Labri Vana Yuring Yirikandana, Namada Paidal, the Yutal Pratyash with Jeevi Chapaidal. Our saves Talatello Namuko and I will Sahiya, Priya Patore, the Yum Taralamai, Sahai came as you speak in Jay Maragati. I know Lydia's friends, Sneha, Feba, will see they are waiting. But before I give, give them chances, I want to give some time to our people. Pair Varenilla, E. Lydia Padipichover, Sahari Chover, Idenathirimund, Angani Arangilundangil, Pair Varem by Eleven Bedora. I wonder if it were one of all any cake, would be a paranoid, an Arangilundangil. If you want to take one or two minutes, please come. They would think that they would stand by the Purmarate, Vidia Idikina, Kartras and Markum, Samu Vishasa Samohatinum, 
പ്രത്യേകാൽ മോളുടെ വിയോഗത്തിൽ ദുഃഖിതരായിരിക്കുന്ന മാതാവിനും പിതാവിനും സഹോദരിക്കും അവരുടെ ബിന്ദുവനാൾക്കും കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു വരുത്തനായ കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു നാമത്തിൽ വന്നനത്തെ അറിയിക്കുന്നു എന്ത് പറയണമെന്ന് അറിയത്തില്ല ലോകപരമായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ നോക്കുമ്പോൾ വളരെ ദുഃഖത്തിലും ഭാരത്തിലുമാണ് നമ്മൾ എന്നാൽ ഹാലലിയ ഈ കുടുംബവും ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വളരെ അടുത്ത ബന്ധമുണ്ട് ഹാലൽ ഞങ്ങൾ താമസിക്കുന്നു രണ്ടര മൈൽ ദൂരമേ ഉള്ളൂ പലപ്പോഴും വൈകുന്നേര സമയങ്ങൾ ഞങ്ങൾ ഒന്നിച്ച് പോയിരുന്നു പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുകയും ഒക്കെ ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളൊരു കുടുംബമാണ് കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങൾ വളരെ ഭക്തിയോടെ ദൈവറയോടെ വളർന്നു വന്ന കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളാണ് ഹാലലിയ കഴിഞ്ഞ പ്രാവശ്യം ഞങ്ങൾ ചില ദിവസം നാളുകൾക്കും ചെന്നപ്പോൾ ഞങ്ങൾ അല്പം ദിവസം പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ച ഒരു ഒരു ഫുഡ് ഉണ്ടാക്കിക്കൊണ്ട് തന്നു ഹാലലിയ സ്തോത്രം വളരെ രുചികരമായ ഫുഡായിരുന്നു എൻ്റെ വൈഫ് ചോദിച്ചു ഇതിൻ്റെ റെസിപ്പി അപ്പോൾ ബീനാസിനോട് പറഞ്ഞു ഇതിൻ്റെ റെസിപ്പി ഒന്ന് വരണമെന്ന് അപ്പോൾ ബീനാസ് ഇഷ്ടു പറഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ അല്ലിത് ഉണ്ടാക്കിയത് ലിതിയായും ഹനായും കൂടെ ആണ് അവരെ വിളിച്ചു ഞങ്ങൾ ഹാലലിയ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇനിയും വരുമ്പോൾ ഇത് ഉണ്ടാക്കി തരണം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് എൻ്റെ കൃപയ്ക്ക് തോന്നാൻ ഞാൻ അനുഗ്രഹിച്ചു പോകുന്നു എന്നാൽ ഇപ്പോൾ ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് മോളെ കാണാൻ്റെ ഒത്തിൽ അത് വളരെ വിഷമമുണ്ടെങ്കിലും പൗലോസ് ഹാലലിയ പറയുന്നു ഫിലിപ്പിയാലി പറയുന്നു ഹാലി ലോകത്തിലായിരിക്കുന്നു ഉത്തമമാണ് എങ്കിലും കർത്താവിനോട് കൂടി അത്യുത്തമം ഹാലലിയ ഈ ലോകത്തിൽ തൻ്റെ മകളുടെ വേല തികച്ചു ഇപ്പോൾ അത്യുത്തമായ സ്ഥലത്ത് ഹാലലിയ മകൾ വിശ്രമിക്കുന്നു ഇന്നല്ലെങ്കിൽ നാളെ കർത്താവിൻ്റെ വരവ് താമസിച്ചാൽ നാം ഓരോരുത്തരും അവിടെ ചെന്ന് നമ്മുടെ മകളെ കാണും അതല്ല കർത്താവിൻ്റെ വരവ് ഈ ദിവസം ആണെങ്കിൽ മകൾ ആദ്യമേ ഉയർത്തെഴുന്നേക്കും പിന്നെ നാം ഓരോരുത്തരും ഹല രൂപാന്തരപ്പെട്ട് നാം മകളെ കാണും നമ്മുടെ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവരൊക്കെ കാണും ആ പ്രത്യാശയാൽ ഈ കുടുംബത്തെ ദൈവം അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ സഹായിക്കട്ടെ ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന വാക്കുകളോടെ എൻ്റെ വാക്കുകളെ ചുരുക്കും ഐ നോ ദാറ്റ് ദർ ആർ സം ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഫ്രം അതർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് ഇഫ് യു ലൈക്ക് ടു ടേക്ക് പ്ലീസ് കം ലിഡിയാസ് ഫ്രണ്ട് സ്നേഹ will see feba welcome praise god um so i've been uh, i've had the privilege of um being friends with uh, Lydia since I was 9 years old um she was a constant part of my life during middle school high school and early college years we had countless sleepovers and hangouts and then when we all went out went our separate ways for college she'd make plans early on when we'd all return home to see each other we were like sisters free silly and inseparable in all the times that i've talked with her whether it was a deep heart to heart conversation or us just laughing uncontrollably trying to get words out i always left encouraged and left with confidence um so i and i were just talking about our new, new year's resolutions the day lydia was in the hospital and it was um for us to be more confident in who christ called us to be and to find peace in midst of everything that's what Lydia's life already had she was confident in her faith and in her, in her relationship with Christ and i believe that she had peace in the path that god took her on and all our friends uh, all her friends were witnesses of that um just in these past two years of lost close family members and it's been tough but Lydia leaving is not something that i was prepared for she was supposed to be a big part of my future as she has been in the past she was supposed to celebrate the big stages of life with me and all the things that we had talked about and looked forward to in the years growing up she was but we will you move on from this and go on chasing our dreams but we will greatly rejoice knowing that she is now with our savior happy and blessed god granted her the reward we were still working towards i just want to um, read uh, a hymn that perfectly reflect, reflected her life 
Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above. Echoes of mercy and whispers of love. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I and my savior, happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This was his, her story. And this was her song, and now she's praising her savior all, all the day long. And I look forward to the day that I can see her. Praise the Lord. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Faba, and Lydia was one of my dearest friends. And I actually changed the word dearest from best friend because as her friend said before, I think everybody thought they were her best friend. <laughs> um, I had found out that they wanted us to say something and I had wanted to say something but I, I didn't know where to start. And writing this was so difficult because Lydia has been one of my friends for 20 years. I didn't know how to put that to words. God didn't give me any biological sisters, but he gave me these three friends who have been my sisters for 25 years. We have so many memories, from sleepovers to shopping to Sunday school class. We were in VBS every year. Sneha, Lydia, we'll see, and I have laughed together, we've cried together, we've prayed together, and before we knew it, we grew up together. I was thinking of all these memories, I didn't know which one to share, but I realized maybe why I'll miss Lydia so much and what makes her so unique is the way that Lydia made other people feel. She made every person she met feel special and important. Whenever, I'm sure any friend can say this, whenever you talk to Lydia, she never made it about her. It was always about you. God blessed her with such a caring spirit. I remember when I first got into physical therapy school, she had been praying for me, and she was one of the first people I called when I got in. I wanted to tell her that God had answered her prayers. And we all feel so blessed to have a friend like Lydia. And I was, as I was writing this, God just gave me a verse, Colossians 1.16, all things were created by him and for him. Lydia's cheerful and prayer driven heart made it so obvious that she wasn't only made by God, but she was made for God. She led her life as an example to so many, including me. I remember even in the past thinking that when I grow up, I want to be more like Lydia. <laughs> to auntie and uncle, I just want to say, we three are also your daughters. <laughs> and Hannah, you have a big sister in all three of us. I miss Lydia so much, but I know she's experiencing the ultimate peace with her Heavenly Father. And I know when it's my turn to reach the gates of heaven that she will be there to greet me. Hello everyone. To those of you who don't know me, my name is Sneha. Lydia is one of my best friends. Not many people have the privilege of knowing their best friend for 23 years. Although Lydia's earthly life ended much quicker than most, I feel beyond blessed to have known her for the majority of her time spent on this earth and to have had her as such an integral part of my life. I honestly thought that the next time this many people would be gathered together to honor our Lydia would be for her wedding. She was supposed to be my bridesmaid. She was next on pastor's wedding prayer list. <laughs> and we all know how, how much God answers pastor's prayers. God knew she was too perfect of a bride and too good for any man here on earth. Instead, God saw that she deserved to be united with her perfect heavenly bridegroom in heaven before us all. She was my lid girl, as I lovingly like to call her, as that was her aim screen name back in the day when that was cool. Um, our relationship as friends began soon after she moved to the States from India when she was the cutest dimpled three-year-old with her mushroom bowl haircut. <laughs> 
We met Lydia and her family through her cousins, Phoebe and Miriam, Stanley Uncle and Joy Santee, who were so close to us, and they were, at the time, our neighbors. Lydia and her family soon joined our church, and within no time, we became best friends as we started to spend more time together in Sunday school and would often go to each other's houses. As you can see from the pictures, Lydia was the absolute cutest little girl who was always filled with so much joy and spunk. These past couple of days, you know, I was looking through home videos, and Lydia was there at all of my birthday parties. She was the the one who sang at the top of her lungs, singing happy birthday, cha-cha-cha. She was, you know, she was the life of the party, and she was such a joy and delight. I have so many childhood memories of playing hide-and-seek with Lydia, where we would hide in closets and giggle secrets to each other while we waited for someone to come find us. I remember going to her house in Mundelein, where Lydia would spend hours trying to teach me how to roller skate, which was a lost cause. We would also play with her pet cockatoo parrot, <laughs> whose name was Baby, and we would try to teach it Malayalam. <laughs> if you knew Lydia, you knew she was the silliest, goofiest of them all. I remember Lydia coming over to my house after church every single, and every single time she would come over, uh, when she came over, she'd be wearing long pantyhose that was twice her size and it would make her trip on her hardwood floors. As soon as she would get back up, she would fall again. And picturing this image in my head still cracks me up. And it, it just, you know, it rem this is Lydia. She was always cracking jokes and no matter how cheesy they were sometimes, she was always able to lighten the mood in every situation. Bean Auntie was saying how even in difficult circumstances, humor was her coping mechanism. Even while she was in the hospital this Saturday morning, in the middle of her excruciating pain, Lydia was joking with the nurses while buzzing them every few minutes, requesting morphine because the pain was so bad. We lived only 10 minutes away from each other. Not pe many people from our church live up north, so we, me and Lydia would always carpool together for church events. If I was ever bored during my vacation, she would be the first person I'd call to hang out. She absolutely hated going shopping with me because she knew I was the most indecisive person and shopping for a dress would turn into a five-hour ordeal. But she always remained so patient with me and was the one to hold my bags and give me advice. Although always unwilling at first, she would all... Uh, eventually give in to all my crazy embarrassing ideas, including um, most recently a human video to a 90s Christian contemporary song for our Sunday school anniversary. She always went along with all of our plans and she was, she was just so great. I can go on and on about all the memories that we've had. Um, like these two, Faba and Wilsey were saying, you know, we shared such a bond growing up. We were the four mus musketeers and formed an inseparable, inseparable bond where um, we became as close as sisters. We had countless sleepovers, shopping dates, hangouts. Um, you know, when we were younger, uh, we gave each other um, names, nicknames over uh, like vegetable Malayalam names. I was part of Alenya, Mathinya, and then Wilsi was Achinya, and Lydia was our Uli. And you know, now just thinking about it, it was prophetic because, you know, she's making us all tear up now. <laughs> and you know, we miss her a lot. But, you know, in Sunday school, we grew spiritually together as we learned the importance of accountability and prayer. Soon we grew older and life took us all different directions as we went off to college. Despite the distance, Lydia always made it a point to try to check up on us and see how we were doing. She was always able to provide advice and a listening ear. Whenever we came back from school, we made it a point to see each other. And I will always cherish all these memories. Many people have come and gone in my life, but one of the few that have remained was my Lydia. She was my constant. The last few years, I was away in Texas and Des Moines for school. Whenever I came back home during these years, we would share similar experiences about our spiritual life and how we both became involved with inner varsity in our respective colleges and how much of an impact it made in our spiritual growth. Lydia was a small group leader, and I loved hearing her stories of redemption that she would encounter. I know Lydia went through many trials during the last few years of her life. She was very reserved when it came to personal issues because the last thing she wanted was to be a burden to others. I wish more than anything that I could have been there for her during those times, but I was comforted in knowing that she was a strong, she had a strong pillar of Christian friends in college that supported her and uplifted her with encouragement and prayer. She would always talk about you, Opal, and Lauren and Kristen, and I'm so grateful for your life and for how you contributed 
and we were always there for her. She was one of the few friends I had who was absolutely sure of her salvation and truly understood what it meant to be a Christian. She led a life of transformation. She walked by faith and not by sight. She not only sowed seeds, but she patiently waited and prayed for growth as she discipled others in their spiritual journeys. When it was easy for me to complain about things, she never spoke negatively about anyone and always saw the good in others. We would always talk about how grateful we were for the churches we had in church while growing up, while, which we looked up to and, um, and who served as mentors for us, particularly our Sunday school teacher, Linda Mama. Before we knew it, Lydia and I fell into the role as the only two unmarried churches in our church, and Lydia saw how crucial it was to stand in the gap and be there in whatever capacity she could for the younger generation. She wanted more than anything for you girls in our church to know just how how much Christ loved you, and not to know Christ just superficially, but to fall deeply and passionately in love with the Savior whom she fell in love with and found to be so real even during the deepest, darkest periods of her life. These past few years while I was away at college, I saw Lydia go outside of her comfort zone to be a leader, a mentor, and a spiritual guide, not because she desired for her name to be known, because she but because she knew that there was a need and she knew that God would bless the little she thought she had to offer. Lydia would always share with me how she never felt adequate enough or articulate enough or talented enough to be a leader. Little did she know God found her service to him to be the most pleasing offering and she was used to impact so many. She was all of our biggest cheerleader and source of encouragement. The verses that I received right after Lydia's death, during moments of complete hopelessness and when nothing made sense, was 1 Corinthians 12, 22 through 26. On the contrary, these parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable, and the parts that we think are less honorable we treat with special honor, and the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty, while our presentable parts need no special treatment. But God has put the body together, giving greater honor to the parts that lacked it, so that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. Although Our Lydia didn't think she had much to offer, God knew Lydia was worthy of the greatest honor for her pure, sincere heart, which was dedicated to serving the Lord in all areas of her life. God saw that she was perfected in her faith and that she had finished her appointed mission while here on this earth. It's amazing to see how the Lord takes care of his children and provides supernatural peace in moments of hopelessness and when you don't know how to move on in life. One day before Lydia's de death, um, I painted a painting that said, be still and know that I am God. And we'll see painted one that said, my grace is sufficient. The devotional I read the next day said, refresh yourself in the peace of my presence. I am your burden bearer. Um, the song that played after Lydia's death was Prince of Peace um, by Hillsong United. So over and over again, God revealed himself to us. And in the same way that God constantly makes himself known, I hope and pray that your family will be able to hear his still small voice comforting you and giving you the strength to make it through each day. You know, while sitting in the ICU on Saturday, the, thoughts, um, the thought that Lydia could even pass away didn't even cross our mind. But Bean Auntie turned and looked at us, and she said, you know, let the Lord's will be done. Throughout everything, she was the one who was comforting us all, which completely blows my mind. Um, I have never seen in my life a family so at peace in the midst of hardship who chooses to trust that God is good instead of questioning him. And I know this can only come supernaturally. supernaturally. It still doesn't seem real. Lydia was just at my house celebrating Christmas with me, and now she is face to face with Jesus. Life is so short. Cherish the ones who you care for. Tell them you love them and spend one-on-one -on -one time with them. Ask others how you can pray for them and not only take and not and take plenty of pictures, but not only that, take plenty of videos so you can capture the richness of their personalities and the way they made you feel. Be an auntie and Wilson uncle, I know how much Lydia meant to you and how much she was a pillar of support for your family. The Prince of Peace who has led you this far will never leave you or forsake you. Hannah, I know there is no one on earth who can replace your Lydia Chichi. She was your everything. If it hurts this much for me to lose my friend, I can't even imagine the heartache you must be going through. 
I know you have your Phoebe Chechi and your Jackie Chechi and your Aksa Chechi, and I'm so happy for that, but I want you to know that if you ever need us, if you ever need me, we'll be here for you, for advice, for prayer, for a hug, for anything. We love you and your family so much, and we will be there for you in whatever way we can, the same way Lydia was there for all of us. Lydia, we know you're having a blast in heaven, experiencing full joy in the presence of our Savior. I'm sure the music beats any plus one or K-pop concert, um, which is saying a lot for you. I love you and miss you so much, my Lyd girl. We sat by church. We sat together in church in these pews for the past 23 years, and now I'm asking you to save me a seat up in heaven. Until we meet again on the other shore, my dear friend, I love you. Amen. You know, our uh, Sunday school children, they were waiting up there to, to, to show themselves to me that they are ready. They are coming. On behalf of the Sunday School, we offer our sincere condolences to Lydia's family and loved ones. Uh, we are sad and brokenhearted at the sudden loss of our friend, but we take comfort in the life that she led and the legacy that she leaves behind and the hope of meeting her once again. Lydia was a Sunday School teacher since 2009 and has held many leadership roles um, in the Vacation Bible School PYPA, and the Children's Church. She was not only a leader, but a mentor, a big sister, and a friend to all our kids. Although we can never truly express the devastation of our loss, we can only move forward by remembering the joy Lydia brought to our lives. Uh, now we just take some time to remember Lydia um, as the Sunday school students, um, as they'd like to honor her um, with a song.
as Lodgy and I were planning the Sunday school uh, session along with um, Wilson Uncle, B90, Lydia, and the rest of the Sunday school teachers, um, there, was a, there was a lot of discussion and we were debating on what, how to best structure our Sunday school. And this is when Lydia offered up to do something brand new and extraordinary. What she decided was that we should have a youth fellowship, a young adult group uh, that ha we haven't had before in our church. So this is basically a bridge between high school students and, uh, and adults that have, have families and uh, may have a different structure in, uh, in their spiritual growth. And so she wanted to leverage her expertise or her experiences to shepherd this group. And um, what I can tell you is that she was immensely successful this year. Uh, we are confident and we have heard it repeatedly that she has made um, deep and long lasting impacts in um, the folks that she mentored. Um, there's, been, she, uh, there's been just overwhelming um, just praise for Lydia's work this year. Um, I want to invite a couple of the students, or I wouldn't call them students, really just uh, friends, um, people ha that were that experienced Lydia's gentle um, care and mentorship, uh, to come and and share a few words to express how much uh, how much Lydia has impacted their lives and also the legacy she leaves behind.
I have not known Lydia for very long, but I have had the privilege to get to know her over the course of this past year. Lydia was my small group leader. Lydia welcomed my sister and I with open arms, embracing us with kindness and compassion. When we started our small group, Lydia told all of us not to treat her as a teacher or a leader because she desired to learn alongside us. This was an example among many of Lydia's uplifting spirit, which overflowed with grace, love, and humility. Her kind and gentle demeanor allowed me to open up to her and we became close friends. One thing Lydia would often remind me is that there is a reason for every season in our life. Lydia was a source of encouragement in my life with Christ as well as many other lives. Her love for Christ saturated every fiber of her being and she exuded this love boldly to many. Lydia's presence always brought forth joy to all she surrounded. She would often bring Uno, Jengo, Jenga, and her favorite game, Mad Gap, any opportunity she had. Additionally, she organized many group bonding activities such as going apple picking at orchards, shopping, and exploring Starved Rock. Lydia was not only our small group leader, but a leader to all radiating Christ's love. I would like to conclude by reading a verse from scripture, 2 Timothy 4, verses 7. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. My name is Betsy, and I've been going to church with Lydia for the past 15 years. There are so many things I can say about Lydia. She was one of the most selfless, caring, understanding people I've ever met. As I've gotten older, we've become close, and she has truly been a blessing in my life. I've gone to Lydia whenever there was a tough situation in my life, whether it was for school or life in general. Lydia always knew what to say. She always told me to trust in God and to pray. Lydia was a true advocate for the Lord. She was the backbone of the youth for this church. She encouraged me to talk to the kids and develop relationships with them. She has taken on tasks and responsibilities that no one else church wanted to do. I'm extremely thankful that Pastor volunteered me, Jashina, Jessica, and Lydia to be, the or to be the directors of this past year's VBS. I was able to spend several months planning with Lydia, and I was able to see how much she truly cared about the youth and the relationship with Christ. I'm definitely going to miss seeing Lydia's face on Sunday. Lydia sat right behind me, and most Sundays I would turn around and make a funny face at Lydia, and she would smile back at me. I'll always cherish my heart to hearts with Lydia. I remember when we were driving, listening to country music, talking about our lives, our future plans, and the struggles of being a Mullielli girl. <laughs> Last time we hung out, we went to the apple orchard. We were so excited to go pick apples, but when we got there, there were no apples to be picked. <laughs> we got lost in the corn maze. We ate apple cider donuts, drank apple cider, because that was the main reason why we, went. we drove all the way out there. Lydia, I remember that day you woke up so early, drove all the way to Grays Lake to pick up Hannah all the way from Chicago, came back to Elmhurst, picked me, Jenny, and Jessica up, and then drove an hour to the orchard. You never once complained. You did so much for me and this church. The one thing I wish I did was thank you more. No amount of thank yous can do justice. Church will never be the same without you. Your presence will truly be missed. Lydia, I love you and I miss you, and I can't wait to hear and see your voice again. We had the honor of knowing Lydia since the day we started coming to Hebron around 2001. These past few years is when we started getting close. I remember we always got stuck being involved with VBS. Every, t every time things got hard or frustrating, Lydia would be there for me, cheering me on, encouraging me to keep working for the Lord. Our best VBS events would not, would most definitely not have been successful and wouldn't have happened without her. Lydia constantly reminded us that Christ was the center of all our work and that our main goal was not to 
make sure decorations or songs were perfect, but to pray that the Lord touches the hearts of these children and for them to be saved. Even with her full-time job and busy schedule, she would always be the first one at church working on VBS and one of the last ones to leave. Lydia tried her hardest when it came to the youth of our church. Last Friday, she even t- she was even talking about how we need to encourage the kids to care about church even more. I have no doubt that she would do absolutely anything for us. Lydia, I know these kids are going to grow up with the God-fearing hearts because we had you to lead us by example. Lydia was pretty much... Okay. Whenever someone talked bad about themselves, I remember you yelling at us and reminding us how great we are. You were so selfless and put others first and made us feel better about ourselves. You inspired me to be a better person and put (laughs) Jesus first in my life. I'm going to miss I'm going to miss your smiling face in church. And even though it's never going to be the same, I promise that we will live a life that you've set by example. Thank you for all you've done for us. Thank you for the infectious laughs, laughs that would brighten our day. Thank you for your caring soul. Thank you for being such a selfless and, per- and beautiful person inside and out. We love you, Lydia. We'll, we'll miss you. always miss you. I know many are waiting to view the body. I let you view the body as we sing a song. And also we, I see that there are uh, some people, they are standing there. If you do not find any seat, you can also go to balcony. There are seats there. Sing a song. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see. If you are waiting, come and see. Come and view. Come and view. Go this way. For the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there in the sweet by and by. We shall meet. On that beautiful show in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful show. We shall sing on that beautiful show the melody. Songs of the blessed, and our spirit shall sorrow no more, nor a sigh for the blessing of rest in the sweet by and by. We shall meet on that beautiful. Beautiful show in the sweet by and by we shall be on that beautiful show to our bountiful Father above we will all for our tribute of praise for the glorious gift of his love and the blessings that hallow our days in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful show in the sweet by and by we shall be 
on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore there's a land that is fairer than day and by faith we can see it afar for the father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore we shall sing on that beautiful shore the melodious songs of the land and our spirit shall sorrow no more nor the sound for the blessing of rest in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore to our bountiful father above we will offer our tribute of praise for the glorious gift of his love and the blessings that hallow our day in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore daralam pere watch view yanadu daralam pere nilkunu ivide nikkerud ivide stalam korvana mugalilekku namukku poga ivide irikkuna aarengilum churchile members mugalilekku ponu nu orpikkunu daralam pere avadu ninnu kondirikkana ippa view cheyidu innavar thanne view cheyidathile kuda direct pogana nu orpikkunu avadu vartanam paranju nikkerud avare kandu ഒരു ചുംബനം കൊടുക്കണമെങ്കിൽ അത് കൊടുക്കാം ധാരാളം പേര് ബാക്കി നീക്കിയാണ് ആരാധ്യൻ 
Philip Grant, Pastor Prince Paul, Pastor John T. Kurian, Pastor Biju Wilson from Philadelphia. Each pastor will take two minutes because we have to accommodate other people also. Please. Praise God. I can imagine the pain of a dear family, Brother Wilson and uh, Sister Bina and Lydia Singer's sister going through right now. But I thank the Lord for the comfort and the peace they are experiencing right now in the presence of the Lord. I know words are not enough to express our sorrow for you right now in the moment you are going through in your lives. But I pray from the depth of my heart, may the God of comfort and the peace overshadow you with his divine peace that passeth all understanding. When we read the book of First Corinthians chapter 15, We, say, we see there in that very chapter, Paul, the apostle, declares 
the victory that we have over death while many death is a place of sad for many and death is a place of uncertainty for many but i thank the lord for the hope and the confidence and the assurance the lord gave each and every one of us dear beloved family i say from from the depth of my heart one day we will see lydia in heaven forever and ever as a pastor i convey my heartfelt condolences for you and for every loved one here on behalf of philadelphia pentecostal church chicago and also sorry bethel ipc church chicago and also of my family we will be continually praying for you in our prayers may the blessed lord hold your hands and lead you in a way that he want you to be may god bless you my name is john quirian in the book of ecclesiastes chapter 7 verses 1 and 2 the wisest man solomon ever lived he says a good name is better than a good ointment and the day of one's death is better than the day of one's birth it is better to go to a house of mourning than to go to a house of feast feasting because that is the end of every man and the living takes it to heart the testimony the songs and the prayer it's all filled our heart and and saddened and uh, brought up many of us to almost cry when i went to the house of uh, but wilson on tuesday i sat there i knew this family um since they came to this country and before they came sister joyce and dr stanley they came here and we knew and we visited their house we had opportunity to um to pray together and uh, all this relationship whenever we um so each other we had very good relationship we were keeping but in this evening whatever we are saying here is not to lydia the verse i just read a good name that is not lydia but when i was reading the obituary that is what's the name she developed she created in the short span of her life and that is what we say or we sing or we pray when we sit here prayer is not for her prayer is the singing is not for her the sermon is not for her but each and every one of us has to remember tonight that we all have to depart from this world because this world is temporary and we are just living here just like we go to a hotel and check in and then they used to ask us when are you leaving and uh, we all are on our row and we don't know when but it's for sure if the coming of the lord is going to be tarried we all have to go but i saw that the comfort that family had when i visited them tuesday and i also heard that the spirit of god revealed to sister bina as was well lydia about this incident so it's not surprise to them at all but for our life we don't know when we have to depart but 
in this evening it is my earnest request as a humble servant of god to make sure to get ready for the coming of the lord or if something happen in our life which we don't like to hear but it is true and uh, we have to be ready for it in india in kerala there is a, a note re, um, used to write on the coffin today i am and tomorrow may be your chance and that is where we are and in first corinthians chapter 15 verse 19 it says if we set our hope just hope in christ just in this life just in this world we are so wretched meaning we if we made jesus just to for a healing or for a, a need and but just don't go for uh, to to jesus or don't live for him we are so wretched because we are not ready for the coming of the lord and as i said in the beginning the life on the earth is so short but the life we are going to be in the eternity that's for ever and ever so we have to get ready for it she did she finished her course even though she had a she had a very beautiful life and i thank for her parents and her sister and i i appreciated the church where she was growing up and it's so hard for a pastor a church and a family to go through this situation but i at the same time i express my condolences my family's condolences the the condolences of the church we we worship together and also we pray that the lord may comfort the parents the sister and the church and the pastor and all those who are grieving and may the the peace of god may pass through all understanding and i also ex- like to express the condolences of ipc central region and i don't think the president could make here pastor thomas koshi he wanted to come but when i talked the other day he was very sick but he asked me to express the condolences as well so i do that may god bless you thank you very much for this time thank you for listening me god bless you on that bright and cloudless morning when the dead in christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share when his chosen one shall gather to their home beyond the skies and the roll is called up yonder i'll be there when the roll is called up yonder 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 i'll be there praise the lord my name is jiju uman i'm standing here on behalf of my family and the church that i serve in kenosha sharon fellowship church as a family as a church we've been praying for this dear sister when we heard about the incident and that uh, that we knew that uh, she was in Cantel Medical Center as a church we sent a text message to all the me- members of our church and we prayed that this was God's will we pray that God may comfort you dear Wilson uncle and dear auntie and that family sometimes we may go through this troublesome condition the things that we may not expect in our life but we know one truth that we are not alone in our journey our lord our savior jesus christ he is with us he will never we are never alone in our journey as we can see the our paths if we look back we may see only two footprints not only us not we are not the only one we're not the one who's walking 
in those tough times. The Lord is the one who is carrying us. I know that you are comforted because the Spirit of the Lord is strengthening you. We have a greater hope. We are blessed people, children of the living God. We are blessed people. We, are, we have Christ in our life, the resurrected one. We will see Lydia on the other side. May the Lord bless you, especially the family and the church. And we are praying for you. God bless you. It's unusual. She is lying there with a living testimony. And um, I've been here, I think, uh, three years. Lydia, uh, with uh, the captivating smile, she is involved in just about everything. And so I need, need not go over all that was said. But she is a living testimony of someone who have lived a full life in Christ. Paul says, no man lives unto himself and no man dies unto himself. Whether you live or you die, you are the Lord's. And I think Lydia has fulfilled that role. She's with the Lord. I want to just express it in this song, Zion's Hill. There waits for me a glad tomorrow Where gates of pearl swing open wide And when I pass this veil of sorrow I'll dwell upon the other side Someday beyond the reach of mortal ken Someday God only knows just where And I shall go to dwell.
കർത്താവിന് മഹത്വം മനസ്സിലുള്ള പിതാവും സർവാശ്വാസങ്ങളുടെ ഉറവിടവുമായ കർത്താവ് പ്രിയ മോളുടെ കുടുംബത്തെ ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കും മാറാകട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു വിവരങ്ങൾ അറിഞ്ഞതായ സമയം മുതൽ എനിക്കും കുടുംബമായും ഞാൻ ഉൾപ്പെട്ട് നിൽക്കുന്നതായ ചർച്ചും വിവരങ്ങൾ അറിയിച്ച് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചു പോരുന്നു നിങ്ങളെ എല്ലാവരെയും കർത്താവ് സകല ബുദ്ധിയും കവിയുന്ന ദൈവസമാധാനത്താൽ ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കും മാറാകട്ടെ യോപ്പയിൽ മരണം മടങ്ങിയ ഒരു പെൺകുട്ടിയുടെ വീട്ടിൽ ചിലർ കൂടി വന്ന് അവൾ ഉണ്ടാക്കി ജീവിച്ചിരുന്നപ്പോൾ ഉണ്ടാക്കിയതായ ഉടുപ്പുകളും കുപ്പായങ്ങളും കോട്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് ഗാർമെൻസ് അത് കൊണ്ടുവന്ന് അത് വെച്ച് അവർ കരഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരുന്നതായിട്ട് വായിക്കുന്നു തിരുവചനത്തിൽ അത് അർത്ഥമാക്കുന്നത് അവൾ ജീവിച്ചിരുന്നപ്പോൾ ചെയ്ത വർണ്ണങ്ങളുള്ളതായ ചില പ്രവർത്തികളെയാണ് ഇവിടെ സ്നേഹിതർ സാക്ഷ്യം പറഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ പ്രാർത്ഥനാ ലിസ്റ്റിൽ വിവാഹിതർക്ക് വേണ്ടി ഇനി വിവാഹം കഴിക്കുവാനുള്ള കുട്ടികൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നതിൽ ആദ്യത്തെ കുട്ടിയാണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു പാസ്റ്റർ വിട്ടിരുന്ന് വളരെ വിതുമ്പി കരയെന്ന് കാണുവാനിടയായി അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ ഓർമ്മകൾ മുതൽ ഈ ചർച്ചയിലുള്ളതായ ഓരോരുത്തരുടെയും പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവരുടെയും മാതാപിതാക്കളുടെയും ഓർമ്മകൾ ആ തവിത ജീവിച്ചിരുന്നപ്പോൾ ചെയ്തതുപോലെ പ്രിയ മകൾക്കും നല്ല ഓർമ്മകൾ ശേഷിപ്പിച്ച് മടങ്ങി കട കർത്തസന്നിധിയിൽ ചേർക്കപ്പെടുവാൻ ഇടയായി തീർന്നുവെന്ന് എനിക്കും മനസ്സിലാക്കുവാനായിട്ടിടയായി വിശുദ്ധന്മാരെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിടത്തോളം മരണം ലാഭമാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് വിശുദ്ധ പൗലോസ് ഇങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞു എനിക്ക് ജീവിക്കുന്നത് ക്രിസ്തുവും മരിക്കുന്നത് ലാഭവുമാകുന്നു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ക്രിസ്തു കേന്ദ്രീകൃത ജീവിതമാണെങ്കിൽ മരണം ഒരു ലാഭമാണ് ഞാൻ ഈ ചെറു ജീവചരിത്രം ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചപ്പോൾ അതിലേറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ ഏറ്റവും വലിയ പാരഗ്രാഫും ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ എഴുതിയിരിക്കുന്നതും ക്രിസ്തു കേന്ദ്രീകൃതമായ ലിഡിയുടെ ജീവിതത്തെക്കുറിച്ചായിരുന്നു ആണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ നമുക്ക് മരണം ലാഭമാക്കിയ വിശുദ്ധന്മാരിൽ ഇവരുടെ ഗണത്തിൽ ലിഡിയയും ചേർക്കപ്പെട്ടു എന്ന് നമുക്ക് കരുതാവുന്നതാണ് തിരുവചനം നമ്മെ ഇങ്ങനെ ഓർപ്പിക്കുന്നു 
നമ്മുടെ ജീവനായ ക്രിസ്തു വെളിപ്പെടും ജീവനായ ക്രിസ്തു വെളിപ്പെടുമ്പോൾ പ്രിയ അച്ചായ അമ്മാമേ മോളെ കൃത്യദാസന്മാരെ പ്രിയ സ്നേഹിതരെ ദൈവമക്കളെ നമുക്ക് ലിഡിയായോടൊപ്പം നമ്മുടെ പ്രിയനെ കാണാം എന്ന പ്രത്യാശയുടെ വാക്കുകൾ ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളെ ഓർപ്പിക്കുന്നതോടൊപ്പം എൻ്റെയും എൻ്റെ കുടുംബത്തിൻ്റെയും ഞാൻ നേതൃത്വം നൽകുന്നതായ എലിയോസ് ഫോർ നേഷൻസ് മിനിസ്ട്രിയുടെയും അൽഗ്രോവിലുള്ളതായ അൽഗ്രോ എലിയോസ് ഫുൾ ഗോസ്ബൽ ചർച്ചിൻ്റെയും കണ്ടോളൻസ് അറിയിക്കുന്നു സകല ബുദ്ധിയും കവി നദീവ സമാധാനം നിങ്ങളെ എല്ലാവരെയും പരിപാലിപ്പിക്കപ്പെടുമാറാം ദുഃഖം തളം കെട്ടി നിൽക്കുന്ന ഈ അന്തരീക്ഷത്തിൽ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ വചനത്തിന് മാത്രമേ ദുഃഖിതരായിരിക്കുന്ന കുടുംബത്തെ ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കുവാൻ കഴിയത്തുള്ളൂ വചനം ഇങ്ങനെ വിളിച്ചു പറയുന്നു മരണ ദിവസം ജനന ദിവസത്തേക്കാൾ ഉത്തമമാണ് യെസ് പ്രിയ ലിഡിയ സിസ്റ്റോ ഷീ ഡിഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഷീ ഗോട്ട് എ പ്രിവിലേജ് ടു ലീവ് ഹിയർ ഫോർ അ ട്വൻറ്റി സിക്സ് ഇയേഴ്സ് ബട്ട് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് സ്പാൻ ഓഫ് ടൈം ഷീ ഷീ ഹാഡ് ലിവ്ഡ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ ടെസ്റ്റ് മണീസ് ആൻഡ് ഷെയറിംഗ് ഫ്രം ദിസ് ചർച്ച് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ദ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഐ കുഡ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഷീ വാസ് എ റിയൽ എ a godly girl she did it that and she has even though she has gone through a lot of pain and disease sickness in her life but she suffered a lot but she has been reached where she is supposed to go വചനം പറയുന്നത് പോലെ ജനനവും മരണവും രണ്ട് വാതിലുകളായി ഞാൻ ചിത്രീകരിക്കുകയാണ് ജനനം ഒരുവൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു കുഞ്ഞ് ജനിച്ചു വീഴുന്നത് ഈ ലോകത്തിലാണ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഗേറ്റ്സ് ടു അഫ്ലിക്ഷൻസ് സഫറിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ കൈൻസ് ഓഫ് പെയിൻസ് അതാണ് നമുക്ക് ഈ ലോകത്തിൽ കാണുവാൻ സാധിക്കുന്നത് but the death where she went now is there is no pain there is no suffering there is no illness at all now she is rejoicing praise the lord and oru bhaktan ingane paranju oru kunnya janikumbol ആ കുഞ്ഞ് കരഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടാണ് ജനിക്കുന്നത് എന്നാൽ മറ്റുള്ളവർക്ക് അതൊരു സന്തോഷമാണ് എന്നാൽ അത് വലുതായി അവർ മരിക്കുമ്പോൾ മറ്റുള്ളവർ കരയുകയും ആ കുഞ്ഞ് സന്തോഷിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുകയാണ് ഇന്ന് പ്രൈസ് അലോഡ് നമ്മളെല്ലാവരും ഇവിടെ കൂടി നിൽക്കുമ്പോൾ പ്രൈസ് അലോഡ് പ്രിയ ലിഡിയ സിസ്റ്റർ നമ്മുടെ യേശുവിൻ്റെ അടുത്തിരുന്നു കൊണ്ട് സന്തോഷിക്കുന്ന ഒരു സുദിനമാണ് പ്രൈസ് അലോൺ അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇന്ന് ഈ രാത്രിയിൽ ഇവിടെ കൂടിയിരിക്കുന്ന ദൈവജനത്തോട് പറയാനുള്ളത് മരണം എല്ലാവർക്കുമുണ്ട് അതറിയിച്ചിട്ട് വരുന്നത് ഒന്നുമല്ല പക്ഷെ ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് വാണ്ട് ടു സ്ട്രെങ്തൻ യു ദാറ്റ് ദ ഇറ്റേണിറ്റി ഈസ് ഷുവർ ലെറ്റ് ഓൾ ഗോ ടു ദ ഇറ്റേണിറ്റി ആൻഡ് സി our girl uh, lydia praise the lord philadelphia pentecostal church in day in the kudumbath in day um hearty condolences nani pola reikunu karthav every anigri kumara gata randa veda bhagangal nyan vai given agrihi kinnu randa കൊരുന്തിർ അഞ്ചാം അധ്യായം എട്ടാം അധ്യായ വാക്യം വി ആർ കോൺഫിഡൻറ്റ് ഐ സേ ആൻഡ് വില്ലിംഗ് റാദർ ടു ബി ആബ്സെൻറ്റ് ഫ്രം ദ ബോഡി ആൻഡ് ടു ബി പ്രസൻറ്റ് വിത്ത് ദ ലോൺ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വേഴ്സ് ഇസ് മാത്യു 
chapter 14 verse 12 they buried him and came back and told their sorrows to Jesus Christ aftermath of death is a process we all can rejoice in the presence of God for next time but the time right now what is it these two verses is talking about the reality of death about the John the Baptist talking about this Matthew chapter 14 they did their best Jesus Christ gave them a space to do all the necessary things for burial. But he has an ear afterwards to listen. His closest friends called disciples to come and share the sorrows. As a couple of us, including me as a chaplain, and all of us to know there is a adage and a common thinking that after everything is over, everybody, including the family, will be okay. But actually the sorrow will start only after everything. Right now, God gave them a shock of soaring possibility. Right now we all are here, pastors are here, we are singing good songs. The real thing, the sorrow will happen when everything is gone. Seeing her clothes, clothes at the closet, early morning thinking about the breakfast at the table, Lydia was absent. Paul is saying, I am confident that when the souls of the saints are absent, they are immediately go to the presence of God. As just before the pastors mentioned, the soul is there. None of these services except the burial and honoring the body tomorrow, these are all having a time for each one of us, including me, to reflect upon our life. After all the preaching like a pastor, where I will spend my eternity. That day, what we will do? That is the process and the question we should ask. In the death, it says that we have been given a privilege, a future privilege, and we will be with the Lord. Not only that, it is not after judgment seat or under millennial service, but immediately, as soon as she left from the world, she is right now in the presence of God, enjoying the glorious presence of God. How can we know? Because God gives you the assurance. He is the creator of everything, including Lydia. The privilege was highly valued by Paul. That is why he said that I am sure. And, and also this future privilege has some present benefits. That is the reason I am standing here. There are a couple of times in America. I was standing just and sitting in front of the casket of two persons in my family. Then you all came and comforted me. With that thing I... Uh, go over it yet we are facing problems after problems in the midst of all things what we have to do I am going to sing a chorus written by a Marthoma priest who been found cancerous in his head he composed a song Probably Dr. Stanley and everybody, they can know the song through the, uh, through the uh, YouTube. One day he was reading an article like this. Two people came to the church. And afterwards, the rain started. One person said, forget about it. 
I don't need to come to the church. Then the other person said, Malayalam, Uru Malayam, Thoraade, Irnatilla. Uru Malayam, Thoraade, Irnatilla. Uru Gatum, Adangadi, Irnatilla. Uru Malayam, Thoraade, Irnatilla. Uru Gatum, Adangadi, Irnatilla. Uru Rabum, Pularadi, Irnatilla. Uru Novum, Thiradi, Irnatilla. Chivatani are thumbs when you among the Velagali Namukovaisu Sikan Lada, numbered away the Negale in Kanda the Nella Turuti Lakana Nalla Devum. Unless there is a test, there won't be a testimony. When any one of you are going through a trouble, though you've been praying, fasting, and continuously doing your hard work in the church and ministry. I would like to say if you are facing some problem, God is preparing you for a future ministry <coughs> like me. As a man of God, as a pastor of in the city, I don't think anyone else in the city as a pastor had gone through the emotional trauma which I had gone through and going through even now. I don't uh, sometimes ask the question, why, O oh Lord, I am become the victim. But because of the reason I've been able to minister to the people, though becomes, they become transparent about their sharing their inner secret because they knew that I cannot be a judgmental person because of the mishaps happening in the family. Today, as Matthew chapter 14 verse 12 said, afterwards the disciple came. They shared their sorrows. My question towards all of you, do you have an ear to listen the sorrows of people without putting them in your so-called glass box? No matter who they are, Hindus, Muslims, Pentecostal denomination people, we are here for a purpose. She did her purpose and she accomplished it. But our purpose is wherever you are going through, God is strengthening you. We are a part and parcel of ministering to others. Let you be decreased and let others be increased. One more verse, then I will close. Acts 18.5 because of the arrival of Timothy and Silas, I was encouraged to preach. Paul was a preacher of preacher. But two people came to the congregation. He was encouraged. Let your presence be an encouragement. Let your invitation going and coming be an invitation in the days to come. Not to preach, but be an encouragement. May God bless you. Uri malayim. Thirade. Irnatilla Urirabum, Puliradrinatilla Ange Karel, do cumber the Jerangale, they even the Nilk Pradevanatri Ude Ivar the Gutter, other state in one of the Runda Rudigan Prem Santanian. Saji Varenda the Nalayana, family of the Tuarta Gatapol Karene, Dubai in the Monomite, thousand dollar penalty at the Rose, she is here from New Jersey. She will be taking one or two minutes. Also, brother Philip Philip, in the daughter in law, Pidavan, Brunda. Last Friday, he practiced. 
ലാസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രൈഡേ ഈ ഫ്രൈഡേ ഈ കോഫിനത് ആകുമെന്ന് ചിന്തിച്ചില്ല ഞങ്ങളും ചിന്തിച്ചില്ല ആരും ചിന്തിച്ചിട്ടില്ല ഇത്രയേ ഉള്ളൂ ലൈഫ് സിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഫ്രം അവർ ചർച്ച് ദ ആർ യു നോ ദ ആർ ഓൾസോ വെയ്റ്റിംഗ് എങ്ങനെയാണ് ചെയ്യേണ്ടതെന്ന് അറിയാൻ വയ്യ ഡോക്ടർ റെനി ഡോക്ടർ സൂസൻ ജേക്കബ് ശ്യാമ തോമസ് എങ്ങനെ ആരെങ്കിലും ഒരാളോ രണ്ടുപേരോ സംസാരിക്കട്ടെ അത് കഴിഞ്ഞതിന് ശേഷം വേറെ ആർ ഇവാഞ്ചലിസ് ടൈറ്റസ് ഈപ്പൻ ഇവാഞ്ചലി കെ എം രാജൻ രാജു ഇവാഞ്ചലി കുര്യൻ ഫിലിപ്പ് ദേ വിൾസ് ഓൾസോ ടേക്ക് ടു മിനിറ്റ്സ് സിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് പ്ലീസ് കം യുവർ ടൈം ഡോൺ അവരെടുത്തതിന് ശേഷം വേറെ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് എനിക്ക് കിട്ടിയിരിക്കുന്നു ലിഡിയയുടെ ഈ സൺഡേ സ്കൂളിലെ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ ബാച്ച് അവർ വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ അവർ വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു അവർക്ക് സമയം കൊടുക്കണം and i do attend this church our first contact with lydia and her family was in may of 1993 um we were the family who invited them to this church brother dr stanley manachery and joyce manachery were our neighbors close friends and we discovered that they are relatives to through marriage <coughs> brother wilson's one of his sisters is married to my father in law's first cousin so we our relationship goes back many years in fact i've seen a a, a photo in the album their album my father in law holding lydia as a baby at the time of her baby dedication i think and i thank god for bringing them into our lives and uh the testimony of this whole family the papachain family in i of uh, bangalore was ha, uh, has been instrumental in the beginnings of ipc in karnataka is what i heard i thank god for this great heritage we have seen lydia grow along with our daughter she was 3 years old when she came and she's been a blessing and a great friend to our daughter and uh i'm only going to share things that the lord comforted me with and memories strong memories we heard about lydia's illness from our pastor on sunday after watch night service we went home and we decided to have a small sunday morning worship service and pastor called us saying lydia is battling between life and death been a called so we asked permission and just rushed to the hospital and the scene there was so peaceful this peace comes only from jesus there was no crying there was no worry there was no anxiety nothing and i and i just praise god because this peace comes from the prince of peace and it's a peace that passeth all understanding beena is com- comforting me saying reni god is good and i am thinking yeah she's gone into the icu they'll do what they need to do she'll come out of it just like last time and i'm saying why is she talking to me like this she says no matter what god is good even if lydia does not get healed i said why is beena talking like this So I just listened. Amos 3:7 says, "For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants the prophets." And I see that in not just one person. Bina knew about it and I heard from somebody saying Lydia came to know about it. I don't know about that. We maybe we'll be hearing more testimonies after today. And uh, so that we our jesus has got victory over death and that is what is profound the lord reminded me verses as i prayed i broke and cried my daughter screamed when she heard that lydia is gone 
But as we prayed, the Lord kept reminding memory verses. He said, I'm the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. God has answered our prayers for life-threatening illnesses in this church. We have seen our brother Danison get healed, our sister Punama uh, Maman get healed. All these were life-threatening illnesses. He could have definitely healed Our Lydia. No, he just said, this time my will is going to be done. John 10, 18, Jesus says that I give my life voluntarily. No one can take it away from me. John 12, 23 says, Now the time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory. In 1 Peter 5, 8 and 9, uh, he admonishes saying, Stay strong in our faith because the devil, our adversary, walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So don't lose faith. Keep praying. God will definitely answer. But when it is his will, that supersedes our will. Romans 8, 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. This promise is only for those who love God. All things will work together for good. And because B uh, Lydia loved God, Bina and Wilson love God, and the whole family loves God, even this will work for the good. Lydia has been a great role model and a dear friend to many. She's been a blessing to her parents and took care of them. She was a second mother to her younger sister. We heard of all the impact she's had through our Sunday school, VBS small group. We are so happy to hear about her work with the Breast Cancer Task Force. All this is new to us. And uh, even to the point that it has resulted in making new decisions regarding the future. Isn't that true? Praise God. We are so proud of her. We will definitely miss you, Lydia. But we are rejoicing with your parents hearing all that we have heard about your legacy. The Lord assures us that I will never leave you or forsake you. Our Lord is a one who cries with us. He comforts us and has also given us victory over death because he's a resurrected Christ and is alive today. So Lydia is alive today. We are only seeing her mortal remains here, but the real Lydia is alive. And because Jesus is coming back soon, we're going to meet her soon. What a glorious reunion that's going to be. So today, let's make sure that we believe in the Lord Jesus as our savior, because he is going to make all things new very soon. There's coming a day where there won't be tears, there won't be sorrow, there won't be death. Praise God, because he has got the victory for us. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, I'm waiting for you in the body. And we'll never be unhappy again. Across the bridge, there's no more sorrow. Across the bridge, there's no more pain. The sun will shine across the river, and we'll never be unhappy again. Some glad morning, when this life is over, Still show I'll fly away. I'll fly away, your glory. I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by. Love. 
Hi, everybody. My name's Rose, and uh, I met Lydia not, um, sometime last year in Arizona. We are going up a mountain, and we couldn't breathe, so we just hung out in the back. Everybody kept passing us. We just hung out, and we looked at everybody who had well enough lungs to go up the mountain and come back, and we passed us twice, and we just kept going. Um, I heard about Lydia, and I flew from New Jersey because I made her promise that I would come see her, and I wanted to come support. Um, she just had that kind of effect on you, even if whenever I was with her, I was also with Phoebe, and they were really close, and she just made me feel included. I didn't feel like I was a stranger. She didn't resent the fact that I was there. She just made me feel like family. So I wanted to come and support everybody who is part of her family. Um, I told her next time we go hiking, I'll bring, um, I'll bring my inhaler and we could both share it. But next time I see you, you won't need an inhaler and I won't either because heaven couldn't wait for her. So next time I see her, I'll be in heaven. Um, I wanted to share with you something someone told me. Whenever everybody's gone, on Monday or on Sunday, you'll remember and it'll hurt. Just find something that you like to do and keep doing it. Put all your anger and your sorrow into it and just keep going because just know that God got you. He has your back. He wouldn't give you anything you weren't ready to handle. Thank you. Berbada Dukamana Bisachal Vasil Chavarna Kunyala Berbada Parents in him. Matulavarkum Seka Mayata Dukamana. Brother Wilson, Chicago, London, and Kariam, Young Lurimiche, Karnataka, Bangalore, and Ega Varshang Lurimiche, I had the children. Priya, Papa Chanda Kurmatebiti, Etherberg, Kudarium, Nariatilla, our parents, Karnataka, a PCK, what are the Mulian Gurdu family? And the Karnataka, a PCK, the Church of Larmo, Pash John Daniel Larmo. Piria, Papa Chandra, we tell you, we are in the middle. I rather not wash the little Narthi go to the moon. And he goes, They were the Makle. Ashes which Bella would carry the every good of one. He could have in the Karnataka Pisic edition. I knew a subalunda. And then Karana, Kurumangalangal, Canada in the Palladium, our controls, Arikan in the Barnu, Canada State in Day, President Past T.D. Thomas, Secretary Workis Matthew, Vice President Case Joseph, our Sabella Niga Varshangler, Provartica, Vidivisa Asnana Past T.D. Thomas, Rajin John, our controls, Sarich Runda, Matamilla, Canada Ilola, IPC Day, Illori, Condons Priya Kudamatane. Arikinu, Matramila, Nyan Darsil, Kurna, IPC Hebron, Nangle, and Sotina, Isametarikinu, Devon Ningle, and Ingrikate, 
വാക്കുകളാൽ എന്ത് പറഞ്ഞാലും നിങ്ങളെ ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കുവാൻ സാധിക്കത്തില്ല എന്നാൽ ഒന്ന് ഞാൻ അറിയും ഹലലുയ കാളം ധ്വനിക്കുമ്പോൾ ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ മരിച്ചവർ മുന്നേ ഉയർത്തെഴുന്നേക്കും ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ മരിച്ചവർ ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ മരിച്ചവർ ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ മരിക്കണമെങ്കിൽ ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ ജീവിക്കണം ഹലലുയ ആ പ്രത്യാശ സന്തോഷം ദൈവം നമുക്ക് തന്നിരിക്കാൻ ദൈവത്തെ നമുക്ക് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കാം ഈ വചനങ്ങളായി ദൈവം നമ്മളെ അനുകരിക്കട്ടെ സിസ്റ്റേഴ്സിൽ നിന്ന് സ്റ്റിൽ ദ ആർ വെയ്റ്റിംഗ് ബട്ട് ഐ ഡോണ്ട് ഹാവ് ടൈം ടുഡേ ഐ വിൽ ട്രൈ ടു ഗീവ് ദം ടുമോറോ ഐ ഹാവ് എ ലിസ്റ്റ് ഹിയർ ഫോർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ ബാച്ച് ദ ആർ വെയ്റ്റിംഗ് ബിഫോർ ദ ടേക്ക് ടൈം വാഞ്ചർ സ്റ്റേറ്റസ് ഈപ്പൻ കെ എം രാജു കുര്യം ഫിലിപ്പ് ഓൾസോ ബൈ ജു മാത്യു എടുത്തായിരുന്നു എടുത്തായിരുന്നു ആർഷ സോമൻ ഗീവ് റീസ് ടേക്ക് വൺ മിനിറ്റ് പ്ലീസ് Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to uh, meet or know her personally. But, you know, when she was sick and when she was in the hospital, when I heard the news, I told my children about, do you guys know Lydia Chechi? And, and they all knew, yes, we know she's a nice Chechi. The only time they knew was the time when we came here for VBS. For some people, it takes so many years to build up a legacy. but for other people it doesn't take a lot of years to build a legacy and lydia was a person in the short years that lived on this world that she impacted so many so many people especially my my girls were talking about how nice she was how inspiring she was and how she she went out of the way to help her to instruct them and tra- and train them and uh, words cannot um we cannot say anything to comfort the family but we know one thing as uh, pastors have already mentioned to be absent from the body is to be present with the lord and we all know one day that we will meet her on the other shore i want to bring our condolences from our church ipc chicago our pastor shaji wargis is not able to be here uh, this night he'll be here tomorrow uh, we bring our condolences from there our our entire family uh, the entire grace printing family and also the entire carlisle plus family bring our condolences and uh, if you are with this family this church will be in our prayers will some brother be na hana lydia we kunjangal ello ellavarum aayittu njangal chila varsha kaalam ee church il njangal family aayittu aayirikkeyum ende kunjangalum ivarellam samagaligar aayittu ee church il valaruvanu pravarthippan edi aayirunnu njan ee message ende moole vilikkumbol ആർ യു സീരിയസ് എന്നാണ് എന്നോട് ആ മോൾ പറയുവാനിടയായ സ്റ്റേ റെസ്പോണ്ട് ചെയ്യുവാനിടയായിത്തീർന്നു ആർക്കും മാനേജ് ചെയ്യുവാൻ കഴിയാത്ത വണ്ണം ഉള്ള പെട്ടെന്നൊരു ഏർപ്പാടാണ് എന്നാൽ നാം ഇപ്പോൾ കേട്ടുകൊണ്ടിരുന്നത് പോലെ തന്നെ കർത്താവിന് ഒരു പ്രോഗ്രാം നമ്മളെക്കുറിച്ച് പ്രോഗ്രാം ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ആ പ്രോഗ്രാം പ്രകാരം കർത്താവ് കാര്യങ്ങൾ നടത്തിക്കൊണ്ട് പോകുന്നു ഇന്നല്ലേ നമ്മളെല്ലാവരും ഒരു നാളിൽ പോകേണ്ടവരാണ് എന്നാൽ ആ കുഞ്ഞിനെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിടത്തോളം അവളെ ദൈവം ഏൽപ്പിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നതായ മിഷൻ അത് അക്കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുവാൻ സർവശക്തനായ ദൈവം സഹായിച്ചു എന്ന് ഞാൻ പൂർണ്ണമായി വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു ദൈവം കൊടുത്ത താലന്തുകളെല്ലാം ആ ടൈമിനുള്ളിൽ തന്നെ അത് ഫിനിഷ് ചെയ്യുവാൻ സഹായിച്ചു ബിൽ സംഭരണയം ഞാൻ വളരെ ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിച്ചും മറ്റാരോട് ഞാൻ പറയുവാനിടയെ വളരെ പക്വതയും ആത്മീയതയും മാതൃകയുമുള്ളതായ ഒരു കുടുംബമായിട്ട് എനിക്ക് കാണുന്നതിനും സഹകരിക്കുന്നതിനും മറ്റുള്ളവരുടെ സാക്ഷ്യപ്പെടുത്തുന്നതിനും ഉത്സവരുടെ കുടുംബത്തെ ഇടയായിത്തിരുന്നു ആ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളിലും അതിൻ്റെ ഫലമുള്ളവരായിരുന്നു കർത്താവ് നിങ്ങളെ അധികമായി അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ എല്ലാ നന്മയ്ക്കായി കൂടിയാവരി ദൈവം ദോഷങ്ങളായി ഒന്നും നമ്മളെ പരീക്ഷിക്കുന്ന ദൈവമല്ല ആകയാൽ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ വചനത്തിൽ കർത്താവിൻ്റെ പ്രോമിസുകളിൽ ആശ്രയിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് വിശ്വസിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ശക്തമായിട്ട് നിൽക്കുവാൻ ഉത്സവരനെ ഒരു കുടുംബമായി പിന്നെയും സഹായിക്കട്ടെ ഈ കൂട്ടായ്മയും ദൈവം അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ ലീഡ് ചെയ്യുന്ന കർത്താവിൻ്റെ ശ്രേഷ്ഠ പാസ് പി സി മാവൻ ഈ ചർച്ചിനെയും വീണ്ടും ദൈവം അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് എൻ്റെ കുടുംബത്തിൻ്റെയും എൻ്റെ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളുടെയും ഞാൻ ശുശ്രൂഷിക്കുന്ന കാൽവറി അസംബ്ലിയുടെയും ഞങ്ങളുടെ കൺട്രോളൻസ് അറിയിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഇത്തരണത്തിലിരിക്കുന്നു ഗോഡ് ബ്ലസ് യു ഓൾ താങ്ക് യു എൻ്റെ പേര് കുര്യൻ ഫിലിപ്പ് ഒന്ന് രണ്ട് അനുശോചന സന്ദേശങ്ങൾ ആദ്യമായിട്ട് ഞാൻ അറിയിക്കട്ടെ മാറാനത്ത വോയിസിൻ്റെ ഡയറക
ശ്രീ തമ്പി തോമസോടെ കുറച്ചു മുമ്പ് വന്നിരുന്നു അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ അനുശോധന ഇവിടെ അറിയിക്കണമെന്ന് അറിയിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ഗുഡ് ന്യൂസിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള അനുശോധന സന്ദേശം ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ അറിയിക്കുന്നു ഈ അന്തരീക്ഷത്തെ ഓർത്ത് ഞാൻ ആദ്യം ദൈവത്തെ മഹത്വപ്പെടുത്തുന്നു കാരണം ദുഃഖസാന്ദ്രമായിരിക്കുന്ന വലിയൊരു അന്തരീക്ഷത്തിൽ ആ അന്തരീക്ഷത്തെ കവച്ചു വെക്കുന്ന പ്രത്യാശ നിർഭരമായിരിക്കുന്ന സന്ദേശങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ടും വാക്കുകൾ കൊണ്ടും പ്രകാശപൂരിതമായിരിക്കുന്ന ഈ അന്തരീക്ഷത്തിൽ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ സന്നിധിയിലേക്ക് വാങ്ങിപ്പോയ പ്രിയ മോളുടെ ദേഹഭിയോഗത്തിൽ ദുഃഖിതരായിരിക്കുന്ന കുടുംബാംഗങ്ങളെ ഞാൻ ആദ്യമായിട്ട് ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് ദൈവത്തോട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഇവിടെ എല്ലാവരും പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ തന്നെ ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി തൊണ്ണൂറ്റി മൂന്നിലെ പ്രിയ കുടുംബം ബാംഗ്ലൂരിൽ നിന്ന് ഷിക്കാഗോയിൽ വന്ന് താമസിക്കുന്ന താമസിച്ച ആ സമയം മുതൽ തന്നെ ഈ കുടുംബമായിട്ട് ഈ സഭയോടുള്ള ബന്ധത്തിലും അല്ലാതെയുമുള്ള ബന്ധം എൻ്റെ പ്രിയ മോൾ ഉൾപ്പെടെ ഉണ്ടാകാൻ തക്കൊണ്ടും ഇടയാ തീർന്നു ബന്ധത്തിൽ ഇന്ന് ഇവിടെ നിൽപ്പാൻ തക്കൊണ്ട് ഇടയാക്കി ദൈവം ഈ കുടുംബാംഗങ്ങളെല്ലാം ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് ഞാൻ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു എൻ്റെ മോളെ ഫേബ സ്നേഹ വിൽസി ലിഡിയ ഇവരൊന്നിച്ച് ഒരുപോലെ വളർന്നു വരുന്നത് ഞാൻ പലപ്പോഴും ഓർക്കാറുണ്ട് എൻ്റെ ഒരു ആശ്വാസമായിരുന്നു സത്യത്തില്ലാത്ത കാരണം നമ്മുടെ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങൾ ഭക്തിയോടെ ജീവിക്കുന്നത് നല്ല കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളുടെ കൂട്ടുകാരോടെ ജീവിക്കുന്നത് എത്ര ആശ്വാസപരമാണ് മാതാപിതാക്കൾക്ക് ആശ്വാസം എനിക്കുണ്ടായിരുന്നു എൻ്റെ കുഞ്ഞ് വളരുന്നതും നല്ല കൂട്ടുകെട്ടിലൂടെയാണല്ലോ വളരുന്നുള്ള ചിന്ത പ്രിയ കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസം കർത്താവിൻ്റെ സന്നിലേക്ക് വാങ്ങിപ്പോയ പ്രിയ പൈതൽ കർത്താവിൻ്റെ ദാസന ഓർപ്പിച്ചതുപോലെ കഴിഞ്ഞ വെള്ളിയാഴ്ചയും ഇവിടെ കടന്നു വന്ന സൺഡേ സ്കൂൾ കുട്ടികളെ ശുശ്രൂഷിച്ച് അവർക്ക് പിസ്സ നൽകി കൊടുത്ത് അവരെ ട്രെയിനിങ് നടത്തി ഈ ബിൽഡിങ്ങിനോട് മൗനമായി യാത്ര പറഞ്ഞ് ഭവനത്തിലേക്ക് പോകുമ്പോൾ സ്വർഗസ്ഥനായ പിതാവ് ഒരു കാര്യം പറഞ്ഞു നിൻ്റെ വേല ഇവിടെ അവസാനിക്കുകയാണെന്ന് ആ വേല അവസാനിച്ച് കർത്താവിൻ്റെ സന്നിയിലേക്ക് വളരെ ചെറുപ്പത്തിലെ ചേർക്കപ്പെടുവാൻ തക്കൊണ്ട് ആയിത്തോന്നും ഇവിടെ പലരും പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഞാൻ ഉൾപ്പെടെയുള്ള നമുക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും അല്ലെ ചൊറ ചുരുക്കം പേർക്കെങ്കിലും ഒരു അമർഷം ഉണ്ടാകാൻ ദൈവത്തോട് ഇങ്ങനെ ചോദിച്ച പലരും ചോദിച്ചല്ലോ എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇങ്ങനെ വായ് എന്തുകൊണ്ടിങ്ങനെ വളരെ ദുഃഖ നിർഭരമായിരിക്കുന്ന അന്തരീക്ഷത്തിൽ ദൈവം എല്ലാ കൃത്യങ്ങളെയും ശാന്തമായി നടത്തുന്ന ഓർത്തേന ദൈവത്തെ വീണ്ടും ഞാൻ സ്തുതിക്ക് മഹത്വപ്പെടുത്തുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു എൻ്റെ സ്വന്തം ഭവനത്തിൻ്റെ മുമ്പിൽ ഒരു ഒരു മനോഹരമായിരിക്കുന്ന പൂന്തോട്ടമുണ്ടെന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുക ഞാൻ നട്ടുവളർത്തിയ ഞാൻ അതിനെ പരിപാലിച്ച് ആ ചെടി വളർന്ന് മനോഹരമായിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു പുഷ്പം നല്ല സുഗന്ധമുള്ള അനേകർക്ക് കാണാൻ മനോഹരതയുള്ള ഒരു പുഷ്പം ആ പുഷ്പത്തെ ഇറുക്കെടുക്ക് ഇറുത്തെടുക്കുക എന്നുള്ളത് അതിന് ഉടമസ്ഥന് മാത്രം അവകാശപ്പെട്ട കാര്യമാണ് അയലോകത്ത് നിൽക്കുന്നവന് അതിനസൂയപ്പെട്ടിട്ട് കാര്യമില്ല എന്തിനാ പുഷ്പത്തെ ഇറുത്തെടുക്കുന്നതെന്ന് ചോദിക്കുവാനുള്ള അവകാശം പോലും അയലോക്കങ്കാരനില്ല ഈ പ്രിയ പൈതലിനെ അതിൻ്റെ സ്വന്തമായിരിക്കുന്ന പിതാവ് ഇവിടെ നിർത്തെടുത്തപ്പോൾ ഇരുപത്തി അഞ്ച് വർഷങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇവിടെ ഈ ഭൂമിയിൽ ജീവിച്ച് അത് നിർത്തെടുത്തപ്പോൾ പിതാവായിരിക്കുന്ന സൂര്യൻ്റെ ഉടമസ്ഥനായിരിക്കുന്ന പിതാവിൻ്റെ അരിക്കിലേക്ക് പ്രിയ പൈതൽ വിശ്രമിക്കുന്ന ഓർത്തേന ദൈവത്തെ മഹത്വപ്പെടുത്തുന്നു ഞാൻ പ്രതിദാനം ചെയ്യുന്ന മാധ്യമങ്ങളെയും സഭകളെയും സമൂഹത്തെയെല്ലാം ഓർത്തുകൊണ്ട് ഈ ഞാൻ ഈ കുടുംബത്തിലിരിക്കുന്ന കുടുംബത്തെയും ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം കൂടെ പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ വാക്കിൽ നിന്ന് വിരമിക്കുന്നു ദൈവം നമ്മളെ ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കട്ടെ She taught our Sunday school class in 2014, and every Sunday that year, um, we were all excited to hear not only her experiences with God, but her confidence that um, we too could be as devoted um, as she was to God and the church and just everyone she knew. Um, in every conversation we had with her, she was so adamant um, on sharing about God and was so positive about everything. Um, we talked about um, she was I want to emphasize how genuine she was and um, how she made it so that we were able to go to her um, to talk about anything we were um, going through and um, share any doubts that we had um, in our faith um, she was one of the reasons why many of us took water baptism and she was the first teacher um, to actually take time to um, to ask about our opinions and experiences with God. Um, and she always made sure to explain anything that um, we didn't understand. Um, she set a perfect example of how um, a Christian should be. Uh, she was so caring and never seemed to bo be bothered when she was in the presence of God. Um, she helped us through every struggle we told her and um, she always told us how important it was to share the word of God um, with people um, we saw struggling. Um, and I pray as a class that we might be like her in all aspects, um, always putting God um, first in everything
I cannot fathom um, how many people she has touched, and um, we love you so much, and we miss you, and we want to thank you for the way you have impacted our lives. Brother Wilson is going to take time. Our family killer can time on the tomorrow I'll give you time. Okay. In that time at our car canale. Brother Wilson, please come. Glory to God. I dear pastor all pastors and all dear ones, and all those who are watching all over the world in the live media, especially our siblings who are watching along with us. Sorry, we are missing you. We heard what our dear ones said about Lydia Moore, and we are truly blessed. We do not have much words or strength, but the joy of the Lord is a strength. Amen. Saji, we really thank you. When Saji called me from Dubai, he, he said, I want to see Lydia Moore. Thank you, Saji, for coming. I appreciate it. My family, too. Our Lydia Moore was a great blessing to our family during the short span of life God gave her. We, like, we recollect the good times we had as a family in our joys and sorrows. Her goal in life was to motivate and encourage everyone she encountered. Lydia Moore, you made all of us proud. Heaven rejoices at your arrival. She was also a blessing to the church, families, friends at school, Sunday school friends, at a workplace. We will all truly miss you. She accepted Jesus Christ in this church, and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. She was baptized by our pastor, P.C. Marmon, and he, was a, he and his family was a real role model to us and for her. We are going to miss you, Lydia. During the worship service, I and Lydia, usually we have our eye contact. We try to sit in the, I used to sit in the men's aisle and she used to sit in the uh, women's aisle. Uh, so she gives a report about me. If I don't clap my hands <laughs> or if I don't worship, she always keep an eye on me and myself on her. From next week, she has got a new assignment. She is going to watch me from heaven. Hallelujah. And she's going to report to God whether I am, you know, worshiping God. Please do, Lydia. I appreciate it. We will continue the legacy you left behind us. We will see you on the beautiful shore. Until then, take rest. Again, we thank our dear pastor, our church, our families, and all dear ones for your prayers, love, support, and good wishes. Thank you. Evangelist Kim Daju is here. Now, our doctor, Reverend Dr. Jacob George, be preaching, speaking from the word of God. Please sit with an attitude of prayer. God will strengthen us. God is our peace. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. He is our peace. Pastor, please come. I thank and praise God for this awesome presence and the opportunity that the Lord has given me to stand on this special time of grieving. <clears throat> In fact, I don't have ways to access, express my condolence. Um, we are very much 
grieved at this time. We live in North Carolina. I am <clears throat> Wilson's brother-in-law. I married his fourth sister. <clears throat> On this time, I express my condolence on behalf of my wife, Valsala, and my loving daughter, Aksa. <clears throat> I know Lydia <clears throat> from the day she was born to this earth. I was living in Bangalore at that time. <clears throat> For the next two years, I was pastoring at the home church in Vivegnagar. <clears throat> and uh, all our children were growing in the fear of the Lord. As Brother Roy from Dallas mentioned, my father-in-law, Walsha's father, my fa we also calling him Apachan. He was the focal point in the church to be a blessing to the state of Karnataka for spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I got the privilege to stand beside him in carrying the word of God. <clears throat> this time, I express again my condolence on behalf of the rest of the families, those who are not able to come and attend on this service here. <clears throat> the rest of the family members who are here, Dr. Stanley and um, Kochama, we call her Kochama Joyce, and uh, Chinky, Shibu, Naomi, and uh, Phoebe. And Joyce is the third sister of Wilson. <clears throat> and also, <clears throat> the fifth sister, Nishi Vegas, she also was able to come from India to join on this sp special time of grieving. And it is our prayer that may the good Lord console and comfort my brother Wilson and the sister Lady oh, oh, sorry Bina and uh, Hannah <clears throat> we'll be with you and we always pray for you and uh, it is our strong belief that the Lord is going to make a new step in your lives once again, I thank God for this church, especially <clears throat> our beloved pastor, P.C. Mamen, and his family. I had the privilege to be in this church for almost a year, <clears throat> serving the Lord, standing behind him. <clears throat> I could see how the Lord has used him in this city. That time, there was no church building, worshiping in Claudian's Hotel at that time. <clears throat> but every evening, myself, along with uh, Brother Roy, joined with uh, Mom Chain, and they came to this barren land. There were a lot of mosquitoes. We sat here and put a sheet and it sat somewhere under the tree and he used to pray for this land. And that today we could see that the Lord has blessed his church. As we are sitting in the presence of God, I am very much concerned about the time and everyone has to go home and come back tomorrow. So I'm not going to preach tonight. It is not wise to preach 
because we heard we are a god tremendously tonight that has spoken to us but i just want to remind a couple of things and i'm going to conclude my verse shortly <laughs> whenever wherever god's people gather together they gather together not for grieving but for worshiping i don't know whether you believe that we should have a worship tonight because our beloved lydia is lying down here and uh, is it the time to worship or grieving why can why we can worship god at the time of death of our loved ones why can't we worship sadharana passes okay nyaaraycha prasangikkumbeyu avaru parayil chelappol parayunnadaya oru padavi undu ningalokke ingane vanna vishwasigalodu parayunnadana ningalokke ingane vanna മരണ വീട്ടിൽ ഇരിക്കുന്നത് പോലെ എന്തിന് ഇരിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് ആരാധനയ്ക്ക് ചോദിക്കുന്ന ചോദ്യം ഒരു പക്ഷെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾ കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടായിരിക്കാം പാസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് മേ ആസ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദ വർഷിപ്പ് സർവീസ് വൈ യു ഗൈസ് ആർ ഗാദർ ടുഗദർ ആൻഡ് നോട്ട് വർഷിപ്പിംഗ് സിറ്റിംഗ് ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് യു ആർ സിറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ എ ഫ്യൂണൽ ഹോം ടു നൈറ്റ് വി ആർ ഗോയിൻ ടു മേക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഡിഫറൻസ് പാസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് യു ആസ്ക് യുവർ സെൽഫ് വെദർ വി ഷുഡ് വർഷിപ്പ് ടു നൈറ്റ് പ്രൈസ് അലോട്ട് on the remembrance of lydia wilson on this day it may seem strange to speak about worship especially since our prayers for her in her suffering did not remove her suffering nor prevent her from death then how can we worship but when god's people gathered together we should worship the almighty god how many of you believe tonight amen. that i can worship god even in the midst of grief praise the lord if you believe with me you can raise your hand and worship god hallelujah somebody already read a verse from the book of job here that is uh, from the book of uh, uh, job um job said uh, the lord has given and the lord has taken he didn't stop it there but again he said blessed everybody say with me blessed be the name of the lord worship say with me worship in the name of the lord praise the lord tonight we are going to worship i'm not going to preach i told um, my beloved mom chan i'm not going to preach tonight but we are going to stand tonight and this worship is going to bless wilson bina and hana tonight praise the lord if you believe with me you can stand with me and we are going to sing a malayalam song this song was written by a british missionary webridge back in nine early 1900 everybody know this song we always sing this song only at the time of funeral but tonight we sing this song and you raise your hand and put your one hand on your chest or you can clap and you can worship in spirit praise the lord hallelujah we are going to start this stanza enne edirelpanai sorga dudar varunu praise the lord how many of you believe that amen the angel of god sir coming to receive you to the place where the almighty god is preparing for us how many of you believe that tonight praise the lord can we worship can you open our mouth and worship can you say praise the lord can you say hallelujah praise the lord raise our hand and say worship the lord hallelujah enne edi relpanai deiva varunu everybody join together raise your hand and worship
നന്നായി ചെയ്തൊരു കുഞ്ഞാണ് കിടക്കുന്നത് നന്നായി ചെയ്തൊരു കുഞ്ഞ് ഷി ഈസ് റെഡി ടു ടേക്ക് റെസ്പോൺസിബിലിറ്റി കർത്താവിൻ്റെ വേലയ്ക്ക് വേണ്ടി ഏതിനും തയ്യാറാണ് ദൈവം എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ നാളെ എനിക്ക് കിട്ടുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഞാൻ പറയാം നാളെ ഫാമിലിക്കായിരിക്കും കൂടുതൽ സമയം നമുക്ക് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം പ്രാർത്ഥന ആശീർവാദം കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഉടനെ ബാക്കിൽ നിന്ന് വരണം ഇതിലെ ഇവിടെ പോകണം ദൈവം നമ്മൾ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ ബാക്കി കിട്ടുന്ന സമയം നയൻ ഓ ക്ലോക്കിന് ഫ്യൂണൽ ഡയറക്ടർ വരും ബോഡി ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് കൊണ്ടുപോകും പ്രിയ കർത്താവെ അങ്ങ് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഞങ്ങൾ ചിന്തിക്കാതിരിക്കെ ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു സ്വദിനത്തിൽ അങ്ങയുടെ അദൃശ്യമായ സാന്നിധ്യത്തിലും ദൂതസംഘത്തിൻ്റെ കാവലിലും ഞങ്ങളെക്കുറിച്ച് ചിന്തിക്കാനും ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് പ്രിയരായ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവർക്ക് ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രസൻസ് കൊണ്ടും പ്രയർ കൊണ്ടും ആശ്വാസം കൊടുക്കുവാനും കർത്താവ് ഒരവസരം നൽകിയല്ലോ ഈ കാലത്തിലെ കഷ്ടങ്ങൾ വരുംകാല ദിവസവുമായി ഞങ്ങൾ തട്ടിച്ചു നോക്കുമ്പോൾ നൊടുനേരത്തേക്കുള്ള ലഘുവായ കഷ്ടമാകിയാൽ ലോഡ് സ്ട്രെങ്ത് അവർ മൈൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ബോഡി ആൻഡ് സോൾ ആസ് യുർ വേൺ മെൻഷൻ ഇൻ ഫോസ്കോ ഇന്ത്യൻസ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ബിക്കാസ് ഓഫ് ദ റിസറക്ഷൻ പവർ you been going to do great things and marvelous thing each and every one of the people those who are serving you help us to be zealous in your work day and night don't give any credence to satan or his tactics help us lord to have a family to join the pain and the pangs of this grieving family at the same time to reverberate love joy and the peace that surpasseth all understanding we are not here for a long time we are scattered we are pilgrims we are forlorn and we are elected people one day you will come and you will blow the trump and we all will be with you for ever and ever and that day we will see our beloved side together as he been she been going through receive her due reward lord i was also help us to stand in the cliff in the gap to intercede for each one of them not only that those who been broken lord you are the comforter help us to walk in thy footsteps never turning back but strengthen us lord right now we are praying for pastor pc maven jesus a man of god give him strength tonight by your stripes we are healed any one day you have given us not because of any medicine not because of anything else but you were healing virtue o lord send your healing virtue upon her my lord as we are departing from this place help us to come if you got willing together tomorrow to praise you and thank you and commemorate the celebration of our lydia's life in jesus precious name we pray May the love of the Father, grace of the Son, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each one of us, especially the grieving family, now and forever. Amen and Amen. Praise God.
ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് അവിടെ നിൽക്കരുത് ദൈവത്തെ ഓർത്ത് ഒൻപത് മണിക്ക് അല്ലേ ഒമ്പത് കഴിഞ്ഞ് അവർ ഫ്യൂണലുകാർ വന്ന് എടുത്തുകൊണ്ട് പോകുമല്ലോ അത് അങ്ങനെ അനുവദിക്കരുത് അവർക്ക് സമയം കൊടുക്കണം ഫാമിലിക്ക് ഫാമിലിക്ക് സമയം കൊടുക്കണം അതുകൊണ്ട് കാണുക ഫാസ്റ്റായിട്ട് മൂവ് ചെയ്താൽ എല്ലാം നടക്കും അവർക്ക് ഫാമിലി നമ്മൾ ഇവിടുന്ന് അങ്ങോട്ട് മാറി കൊടുക്കും അവർക്ക് ഫാമിലിക്കുള്ള ടൈമാണ് ഈ സമയം ബാക്കിൽ നിൽക്കുന്നവർ കാണാനുള്ളവർ വേഗം വരാം നാല് മിനിറ്റുകൾ കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അവർക്കുള്ള സമയമായിരിക്കും ഫോർ മിനിറ്റ് 